Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Music Mondays podcast. I'm your host, Sam Slays. Welcome on in, my friends. This is episode uh, 175. So, um, this is a pretty crazy milestone, I won't lie to you, Chief. This is a really, really crazy milestone. Um, 175 episodes is fucking nuts, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how we're going to shape the podcast going forward. Um, I don't want to change anything like super major with the show, right? But um, there's there's definitely something I want to do as far as like seasons go and, and how I want to, you know, structure the show when it comes to um, seasons, right? Because this will be the end of season four. But uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about that in a few. Regardless, like I said, welcome on in. Uh, I'm your host, Zob Slays. This is episode uh, 175 of the Music Mondays podcast. This is May 27th, 2024. And we're chilling. We're live. It is actually Memorial Day. Um, so huge shout out to everybody that celebrates and uh, things like that. I hope you all, I hope everybody's having a decent, safe, and uh, healthy day. But it is Monday and this train stops for nobody. So you guys know the drill. Uh, we're getting into it. So, um... I think we'll go through uh, some weekly recap jazz, right? We'll we'll talk about some weekly recap stuff, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and have a little bit of a discussion segment. We're gonna talk about you know music Monday seasons and all that all, all that good jazz, um, and uh, you know kind of have an interesting community discussion. And then of course we're gonna get into some uh, reactions and reviews. So you guys know the drill. Let's get into it um so first things first um let's talk weekly recap stuff so um let's get into it weekly recap. so what happened at music mondays over the course of the last week or so let's talk about it 
uh per usual uh music monday's basic logo t-shirts are available right now in stock so if you have not gotten yours make sure you get yours um we're actually filling out a couple orders uh this week so make sure you grab yours we're still um handling all sizes besides extra large and uh double extra large so we have smalls mediums and larges right so again if you're interested in that uh definitely let us know and send us a message send us a dm we'd love uh to ship that out for you um but i think we kicked off uh tuesday this this past week with uh the music monday's radar check uh, music Monday's Radar Check number 8, and if you don't know what the Music Monday's Radar Check is, um, that's essentially our monthly segment where you can tag mutual artists, um, you can tag your friends, you can tag somebody that you think uh, should get some shine on Music Mondays, whether they be considered for an article or just somebody you'd like to see on the platform in general. Um, radar Check is, is really essentially just that, uh, so it's very important and uh, one of the cooler uh, monthly segments that we have here on music mondays so again radar check uh number eight is available right now uh, make sure you go tag your friends and tag anybody you think uh music mondays should tap into yes uh we want to hear from the community like you know community feedback and things like that right so um you guys know that we like to put those segments out so again if that's something that um you know you're interested in definitely go check that out and go show that some love um so rolling into uh thursday because uh, we opened submissions for SoundCloud Sunday uh, this past Wednesday. SoundCloud Sunday dropped. Then we rolled into Thursday with a brand new YouTube upload. So uh, during uh, episode 173 of the Music Mondays podcast, I spoke a little bit about talking about ideas versus actually executing ideas, right? And uh, really kind of talking about the whole idea of getting into the, the bad habit of, of talking about ideas but not exactly uh executing them right I, I i think that's like a really um i think it's a really rough spot to be in when it comes down to things like that so um definitely go check that out on our channel if that's something that interests you um that's one where like I, I i dive in pretty lightly but again it's it's one of those topics that um you could realistically talk about forever right so uh, but that upload is live right now on our channel, so definitely go check that out and go show that some love. Um, and of course, actually, we are quite literally one subscriber away from 280 on the Music Money's YouTube channel. Uh, so definitely go sub to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, keep your eyes peeled for new uploads every Thursday and Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a whole lot of good jazz over there, man. So go show these artists and the channel some love. And go check out that new upload, man, because it's kind of a doozy, but um, a real like a, a relatively important one realistically so um go check that out and go show that some love and of course uh rolling into friday we actually had a absolute banger article drop uh by the homie layla on the music one day staff team you shout out to layla uh they did a wonderful deep dive on a super super cool artist man uh i'm not going to spoil it but definitely go check that out go check out all the recent articles on the music Monday's website and huge shout out to layla uh that is a fantastic piece um so moving along with friday after a brand new piece dropped we actually dropped the official trailer for curing cases of the mondays collection 2. uh this is an album that we've been talking about here on the show and you guys know i've been talking about it here on music mondays in general for uh probably like a month like like it's been like a month or so you know what i mean this is this has really been a, a long time coming in and i'm actually really happy to actually have submissions open right right everything is finally open it's finally here um it's it's live so i'm excited but uh go check out the official trailer right now nothing too crazy but uh we got to show off uh, a track from first collection of curing cases of the mondays so that one's really cool um and huge shout out to everybody that's already submitted tracks i think we're already like six submissions deep and we still have quite some time for you guys to get your tracks in i think we still have like uh two weeks or so left but we do have a really decent amount of time when it comes to um the submissions and things like that so uh, you'll be seeing a lot of heavy promo go out for curing cases of the mondays right i definitely think um we're gonna really hammer down on that just because i want to make sure that everybody um is aware but also has time to get their tracks in right i i, I think uh i think getting your tracks in is is ultimately the most important thing so uh yeah definitely keep your eyes peeled for some more promo and definitely go check out the first trailer for curing cases of the mondays uh w big w 
uh, also edited by me. Um, okay, so moving forward, um, we roll into Saturday. Um, so what happened on Saturday? We dropped episode 174 of the Music Mondays podcast that is available on YouTube, uh, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, all that good jazz. We have a lot of uh, uploads pretty much everywhere scattered across uh, all platforms. So again, um, huge shout out to everybody that submitted for episode 174 and huge shout out to everybody that tuned in and showed love to episode 174. But again, that is available on our YouTube channel. That is also available on our Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon uh, wherever you listen to podcasts is available, so definitely go check that out and uh, go show episode 174 some love. Uh, huge shout out to pretty much everybody though. Uh, no matter where you submit from, uh, you guys are awesome. Um, and no matter where you watch the show from, you guys are awesome, right? Whether you watch the show live, whether you kind of, um, you know, pull up on Spotify or or you watch it on Apple Podcasts, doesn't really matter. Uh, you guys are amazing, so thank you guys for. Uh, showing us some love on all platforms thank you um but make sure that uh, you subscribe to the music monday's youtube channel if you haven't already like i said earlier we're one subscriber away from 280 and pretty much every full episode gets uploaded on the channel along with um a lot of really great tips and tricks and uh, a whole lot of good stuff is available over there man so uh go show the channel and these artists some love and definitely go check out episode 174 so um let's see here so that was saturday uh moving forward uh on into sunday uh episode or no i'm sorry soundcloud sunday volume 136 is available right now on our soundcloud um wow 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 so um that one was one that got a lot of love last night for sure uh, just because we've been putting these together for quite some time and, and the community kind of knows um, how consistent we are with SoundCloud Sunday and, and kind of the ultimate goal, right, is to not only show SoundCloud and the underground community on SoundCloud uh, some love, more so that, like, um, you know, we really wanted to give, you know, that specific underground section a lot of love and and really make sure that soundcloud playlists really never die right like true soundcloud playlists not like um picking favorites and not like custom playlists like submissions are always open every single wednesday so um soundcloud sunday is special man soundcloud sunday is definitely special but um 136 is available right now uh go check out the latest volume and again huge shout out to everybody that submitted a uh, huge shout out to waterfalls for curating that with me that was curated by myself and waterfalls and uh, I actually did the art this week. Pixie did the art last week. Um, and again, huge shout out to everybody that submitted. And uh, even if you didn't submit, uh, if you showed love, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that is fantastic. We appreciate you. Uh, so that rolls us into Monday, today. Uh, episode 175 of the Music Mondays podcast. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, um... We had a pretty crazy week, but I think this next upcoming week is going to be even more stacked. Um, just because we have a lot of major written pieces dropping. I have a couple of scheduled content pieces. Um, lots of decent things coming up on the Music Money's platform over the course of the next week or so. Um, but we are going to talk about that. So uh, that was your weekly recap. That was everything that happened at Music Mondays over the course of the last week or so. But uh, it's time for us to continue on. Let's dive in. So um, what's coming up? On music mondays over the course of the next week or so so uh per usual music mondays is recruiting we are recruiting for all roles so if you're interested in a writer journalist role if you're interested in curating if you're interested in short form or long form media uh if you're interested in designing we are uh looking for all roles here on the music Monday staff team so uh make sure you get in contact with us and uh let us know if that interests you at all uh because we'd love to have some new staff members on the team and we're looking to fill out at least three more positions before we kind of close off recruiting right so um that'll be something very important but again if you're interested in any of those roles or you have uh, any more questions about uh future music mondays roles or, or staff roles in general uh, we have a wonderful guide on our youtube channel where i kind of break down um each staff role kind of what's required what you're kind of expected to do what each role is in detail and things like that and how music mondays really operates in general um so definitely go check that out if you're interested in, in any staff roles realistically um so 
one more thing uh music mondays is looking for soundcloud exclusives but mainly we are curating for our second album right now so we are still looking to host some singles but i think we're full force into uh curating for our second album but again if you'd like to do a single drop um of an unreleased track on our soundcloud to be hosted and promoted uh across all of our socials by us for free uh definitely let us know and uh, get in contact with us because we'd love to host your track here on our soundcloud and of course not only as a way to kind of uh you know show uh the soundcloud community some love right but to show um our community some love and of course just to kind of um build up a nice archive as a as another way to show artists some love so um it's really kind of a win-win and one of the more um important important parts of music mondays for sure um actually very important so again if you're interested in getting a uh, unreleased soundcloud track hosted and promoted on music mondays definitely let us know and get in contact with us because we'd love to have you my friends we would love to have you uh and of course that goes for youtube as well if you're interested in getting a youtube uh video hosted and promoted across our channel almost 300 subscribers for free uh definitely let us know lyric videos visuals even audio we're definitely down for audio as well um but again if you'd like to have something unreleased hosted on the music mondays youtube channel that'd be great let us know uh because we'll totally be interested in that uh but of course we're only interested in unreleased material so again uh feel free to do whatever you want with the track later on but um you can kind of drop it on all platforms we're only interested in the uh soundcloud youtube version and uh you can kind of go ahead and do whatever you want with your release you know per usual but um those two things very important but uh we say those at the top of every show so again if you're interested in either a recruiting or getting an exclusive track hosted on the uh music mondays platform definitely let us know but um let's talk so what's coming up on music mondays over the course of the next week um what's cracking this week what's going down so a uh, couple important things for usual um i think the big three like i always uh talk about kind of like the summer summer roadmap uh for music mondays if you will um mainly right now we're focusing on our curation for our second album curing cases of the mondays collection two um as i said earlier we have a decent amount of submissions in already so i think over the course of the next couple of weeks uh we're gonna still heavily promote the project uh make sure people get their tracks in on time and things like that so that'll be one main thing that kind of takes up uh the beginning middle-ish of june right i'd say the majority of june because submissions don't close until um i believe like the beginning of june so uh we have some time to get some tracks in and things like that but um we have until let's see here yeah so submissions close on the 7th so there's still about um two weeks like roughly two weeks left and then uh, we'll be announcing the album track list and who's on the album on the 14th. Then we'll be dropping the project on the 21st. So Curing Cases of the Mondays uh, Collection 2 will definitely be uh, the majority of June. And then once we follow that up, um, we'll be planning for our second URL event, uh, Cypherfest 2, or kind of mid-late-ish uh, summer. So that's kind of like the rough roadmap and then of course we're going to be heavily promoting the rest of our merch as well so that'll be something that uh you guys see uh a couple of things roll out for um nothing too major but again uh our second album and our second live event uh will be two things that is, is really like occupied by the summer and of course your usual youtube um monthly and weekly content will stay the same right all the playlists soundcloud sunday the podcast will stay the same uh all the youtube uploads written articles and things like that um everything will stay the same realistically but as far as like a bigger events and things like that and what's coming up um our second album is really at the forefront and and something that we're like heavily focusing on up until all tracks are submitted and things like that and then um we can kind of start looking at dates and and what cyberfest 2 is going to look like uh realistically so that's that my friends and then of course like i said um your your regular monthly and, and weekly content will stay the same um but that's per usual. You can always expect that. But um, one thing I wanted to discuss before we get into um, submissions and reactions and reviews is seasons of the Music Mondays podcast. So uh, this episode right now, which you're watching, is episode 175. 
So this would technically be the end of season four of the Music Mondays podcast. And we're going to be heading into season five, which will be uh, episode 176 through episode 200. So I'm still kind of playing around with ideas in my head on how I want to structure um, seasons going forward. Because I want to get a little bit more content out of seasons, right? So I had this idea a while back um, of really how I wanted to structure seasons and really get a little bit more shine out of them, right? Because we are a weekly show. So it's one of those things as to where it's like, okay, um, we have, uh, you know, just about five seasons of the Music Money's podcast, right? Great, fantastic, awesome. But it's like, what are the highlights of each season and, and how, how is each season kind of relevant? So when it comes to season like one to three of the Music Mondays podcast, I think like I was still doing like 50 episode seasons. Like, like I'm pretty sure season one or two, uh, season one is like episode one to 50. And then season two is 50 to 100. And then um, season three is 100 to 150. And then season four is 151 to 175. So I kind of wanted to split it in half, right? So for instance, instead instead of uh 50 episode seasons, we kind of wanted to chop it in half and do 25 episode seasons. So going forward, I was kind of thinking like, okay, what would kind of make, you know, seasons in Music Mondays and the Music Mondays environment and podcast a little bit more entertaining so many of you know that we do uh the top three artists for each show at the end of the show right of course you know just to show some love to the um highlights of the show per usual nothing super new there right but i figured at the end of each season for the music money's podcast we can kind of go forward with the top 10 submissions of each season, right? So we're going to go through each episode and uh, narrow down 10 picks that we think highlighted throughout the whole season. So it'll kind of be like a season top 10 rather than just like a per episode top three. So in addition to the top three, I figured a top 10 would be kind of cool each season. So you wouldn't be seeing it all the time. Because even if we kept it to like 25 episodes, uh, per season, um, I still think that would kind of be a lot, right? Especially as to where we get minimum like twenty submissions per show, and going through twenty submissions times twenty five, yeah, like that's a lot of fucking submissions to go through, right? For for twenty five episodes, so I'm thinking of narrowing down seasons to maybe ten episodes, but I don't want to do that until we hit episode 200 so i think we'll finish off season five so obviously next week's episode will be um the first episode of season five we'll go all the way to episode 200 and then once 200 hits um we'll start doing seasons per every 10 episode and then we'll be able to kind of narrow down um top 10 submissions for each season so a little confusing but essentially all i'm saying is uh the episodes uh, per season will be shortened. So instead of 25 in each season, you'll kind of be getting 10. Um, so we'll be hitting like season 10 like super fast, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my thought process behind it. And just to make seasons a little bit more cooler and fun for the community, kind of get like, you know, a little bit of like a recap, you know, like 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 a season four recap, a season five recap um things like that I, I i think something like that would always be really cool but i didn't really think about it up until like later on during uh the music money's timeline right like it, it just took a while for me to kind of come up with that idea but i think once we hit episode 200 we'll be able to um kind of move forward with the top 10 of each season and um give everybody like a little bit more shine when it comes to uh, the podcast and all their submissions and things like that. So I think shit like that would be really cool and uh, is very, very important, 100%. So um, with that said, that'll definitely be uploaded on the channel. Let us know what you think about the season format, absolutely. 
uh and of course make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video all that good jazz and a uh, huge shout out to everybody that already has uh subscribe to the channel and uh, has been supporting music mondays man you guys are amazing thank you thank you thank you let's get it baby so all righty chat all righty all righty all righty all righty you guys know the drill man um let's get into it let's see what we got let's talk about it let's uh get into some reactions and reviews all right so we have a decent amount of submissions tonight uh let me get us up on screen and let's go through the usual so uh you guys know the drill but if you don't and you're new here you're like why do you uh do submissions in this format what are submissions like things like that so um submissions are always in the same format every single week they'll always read artists and creatives submissions are open for live reviews on music mondays live on may 27th 2024 at 7 p.m eastern standard time twitch.tv slash zom plays which is here and now uh if you'd like to submit your music artwork fashion or, or digital creations drop your links to portfolios below all art forms are welcome of course contrary to our name music mondays um we've reacted to pretty much everything here on the show from artwork to fashion to merch photography to videography to instrumentals to vocals to quite literally everything men so feel free to submit whatever you want uh of course the idea behind that being that many underground uh creatives and many independent artists are multi-talented right um a lot of painters are also vocalists a lot of vocalists are also painters a lot of engineers are also producers you know things like that so we like to include a lot of submissions here on the show when it comes down um to including everybody right so that that was something that um was very important to me realistically but um yeah that's that on that and of course for our show limits uh per usual uh just to make the show a little bit more palatable to watch back and uh considering we are one of the only weekly uh shows here on twitch uh just to relieve a little bit of pressure uh to the music money staff we do keep it to a for our show minimum um of course as opposed to our like earlier shows that used to be you know uh, six, seven, eight hours, like I always talk about, um, because those are, it's just kind of ridiculous to watch back, right, I mean, it's, it's okay to, like, throw one in the background, um, but once you get up to, like, the six, seven hour mark, it, it gets a little, it gets a little, um, hectic, but, um, one could argue that even, like, a four hour show is a little bit rough to watch back, but realistically, I don't think, um, it's, it's as much as, uh, some of the older shows that we used to do, right, so, uh, four hour show limit, uh, and make sure you get your submissions in on time. And of course, uh, Patreon subscribers, submissions are played first every single week. And of course, submissions are always free. So uh, with that said, they always have been free. They always will be free. But of course, the only thing that we do ask is that you're following the Music Mondays podcast on Twitter to be eligible. Again, not only to help spread our message and show us support, but just to pay respect to everybody else that does uh, follow Music Mondays and does wait for their submissions to be reacted to every single week. Uh, so that's very, very important. And of course, you gain access to a wonderful network of very, very talented creatives. So kind of a win-win. But of course, submissions are always free. And the only thing that we do is that you're following Music Mondays on Twitter before you submit. And one last thing. And like I said, Patreon subscribers submissions are played first every single week. If you're subscribed to the Music Mondays Patreon at any tier, you will gain access to a whole lot of goodies. But mainly one of them being the Music Mondays Fast Pass, which allows you to get your submissions played first every single week here on the show. For the duration that you're subscribed in addition to supporting music mondays in general right but like i said you gain access to a whole lot of goodies um so like i said for the duration that you're subscribed to the patreon you'll have your submissions uh played first every single time you're on the show and of course um make sure you go show some love to all of our patrons and go check that out if uh you're interested and of course if you have any questions uh feel free to dm the music mondays uh platform or dm me or send us an email let us know if you have any questions at all um but of course, uh, that's about the major gist of things when it comes to the Music Mondays podcast. The only other thing that you need to know is that the Music Mondays podcast submissions close a couple hours before the show starts. So again, submissions are open for about a week. Uh, again, if you're watching this live, submissions are open for episode 176 tomorrow. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, uh, submissions are already open. So make sure you go drop your tracks. Um, but of course, they do close like a couple hours or so before the show starts. Just for us to get a quick head count and just so the order doesn't get messed up. Uh, for any late submissions, you know, and you know, somebody gets in front of somebody and yada yada yada. Uh, we like to keep things a little free for here on the show. And again, we are a live show, so um, we like to make sure that we don't get any late submissions. But you do have about six and a half days, <coughs> pretty much seven days, <coughs> to get your submissions in. 
So um, make sure you do that and make sure uh, you check the date and you're good to go. But um, that's pretty much all the major things you need to know about the Music Money's podcast. If you're interested in anything else or you have any other questions, uh, feel free to check out our YouTube upload where I kind of dive into the Music Money's podcast, how to submit, where you should submit, why we take submissions on Twitter, and things like that. Um, and of course, feel free to DM us with any questions as well. Um, we're always happy to talk about it um, any place, any time, for sure. But um, with that said, that's pretty much everything major, my friends. Um, let's check out what we have for submissions this week. Um, okay, so we got a lot of community regulars. We got some first timers for sure. Um, let's see how many patrons we have, and then we're gonna go through the rest of um, our uh, community submissions. Okay, so we got one from Dry My Eyes. If you can't open the link, it's on SoundCloud. Just remove the spaces. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, so we got Dry My Eyes. We got Tommy Jordan. Um, MM submission. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the one. This is the one that's private. Okay, okay. We have two Patreons so far tonight, and then um we should be good okay so let's try that um link that dry my eyes actually dropped right here we'll copy paste go like this paste and we'll take out the spaces like so one two three boom just like that that is slick my friend that is slick yeah so sometimes twitter will do the thing where uh you can't like right click or or uh kind of open the link anywhere um i mean like you could like find like a weird workaround but usually it's um it's much easier but either way regardless we're gonna go through dry my eyes and then we got the homie jordan up next and then uh community submissions but dry my eyes a very very talented vocalist um has been destroying 2024 man uh singles on singles lots of really really like insane unique tracks like like very fucking unique especially lyrically so there's a lot of things to kind of dissect when it comes to dry mines. But again, a uh, solid, solid artist uh, when it comes to um, five months into 2024, for sure. But uh, 18 hours ago, super new, unreleased uh, Music Money's premiere, dry my eyes submitted a track titled The Cure with Skate Miles. So be by Skate Miles. We got some lyrics in description as well. So let's get into it here, man. Let's get into it. A little lyrics in the description. I'm down. All right, let's go. Uh, dry my eyes, The Cure. Uh, unreleased exclusive music Mondays premiere. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, all right. <laughs> I already tell the flow's gonna be crazy. Yeah, play with that function. Playing that passion, the can this function. Pray I'll be cautious. Count all your options. Work when exhausted. Make no assumptions. She got emotion. She got that such and we dead and ain't in this rush. Streets over pave your destruction. These beats was not for consumption. We can the dust and we need a steep introduction. We can then brief an eruption. One day you might see some dust and one day you might see production. All of my haters presumption. Fled out of cuts. We turn all my hills into lost streets. Now I will always see freshly. Now I wait outside of bounds. We don't come my way if you lousy. You work through my pain, do it proud. Oh my. I'll make it spread out. But keep what I knew when it's cloudy. We can reheat up the job. We should need this. What the fuck? I leave my heart through my hands and repeat. I greet the same with my feet. I'll be the man you release. Only a seven was the feet. I might have can never can to the man, but I can't ever be. Brody, my hand on the sleep. Told you I'm all that's on Z. Told you I caught it. Oh, shit. I'm burning all that herb, little honey. Oh, shit. No way. Oh, 
rent in my soul. That shit ain't it, I know. That just ain't no way to go. I wanna sell them a road. I wanna sell in a set in a pop of a gold and a promise to show up from bell and I grow. Hopefully I'll bet when they miss the first goal, but I can't never fail if I make it a show and I make it a show. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Um, what the fuck? So it's two weeks in a row where where I've almost been left with a loss for words for the drama I submission men. Um, it is just filled with passion, like just filled with a lot of fucking passion. And I think a lot of like the backing vocals and a lot of like the ad libs really like kind of assert that right because it has that like interesting hip hop esque flow that Drama Eyes has really mastered. But it's just this like alternative um sprinkle in there that that really like blends it all together and i think really like oozes passion so this is one of those man that's like i feel like drama eyes is really on a roll like these last two tracks have been really fucking crazy like really really fucking crazy um wow okay uh let's break this down let's talk about it so we're gonna talk about three things here uh we're talking about the instrumental talk about vocals and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of this track uh the cures is actually like an insane title for this by the way um so let's talk instrumental um again i feel like drama is just one of those artists that has like a very solid uh instrumental selection they they know how to pick their instrumentals no matter what they just have this like flavor and this kind of like certain box that most vocalists kind of have to fit in right i because like i notice a lot of the more consistent or the more like the vocalists that work hard and have like a large output always have this like very specific taste for instrumentals and some of them even self-produce so they don't really like have that problem but some vocalists don't produce right and they kind of run into this issue where some beats don't hit some beats are kind of like okay but not really so sometimes it takes them a bit to find an instrumental that really clicks with them and i noticed that drama eyes really has like a like a good ear for instrumentals that that you know support their vision so i think that's important to know um uh, because the 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 instrumental choices have just been crazy like really really crazy um so hmm let's talk mix uh mix is fantastic again this is an artist that we've kind of noticed over the last couple of weeks that they've always had a really consistent mix right nothing really too shocking there but for those of you that are new and that may not be familiar with drama eyes um this is definitely a very solid mix this is a very consistent mix but when it comes to the the instrumental like strictly i feel like the instrumental has a just a like it's so level but again it's it's hitting that like nice and gritty hard hitting area when it comes to the drums right because the melodies are are totally like that great peaceful factor but again the drums kind of come in and and uh support the emotion right um so the mix is fantastic and i think it lets all that shine when it comes to the instrumental uh for sure instrumental shining star um i really like the structure i'm not gonna lie to you like i kind of could say drums right i could say drums and i could be like oh yeah like drums are hard as shit which they are but i feel like the structure is so like storytelling kind of filled right like like i feel like it's 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 telling a story on its own like where it drops and the intro or outro i feel like i feel like the structure could be very underrated here very very underrated uh so for me the structure i like the the way this was laid out a lot uh but drums are definitely close second for sure but for me definitely structure um and I, I mean, I just like the choice in general, though, you know? Um, so instrumental solid. Uh, let's talk vocals. Um, vocal mix. Again, I think Drama Eyes has one of the coolest mixes when it comes to, like, this alternative hip-hop mix that they always do. Um, because they very much are, like, a um, like a rapper's rapper 
but they but they always sprinkle in this this like style of like alternative s kind of like they it, like i feel like this is an artist that that just does what they want when they want until like it sounds good enough to them and then you get this like unique flavor that that like is impossible to ignore right like especially if like you've you you've you know been a listener of alternative music you you like alternative styles these are a set of vocals where you're gonna be like wow like this is really some like unique ass shit and you're like okay like like you don't hear too many people have a style like this and actually pull it off really well uh because i think it's really hard to pull off well because it has this mix of like raw natural vocals mixed with again like these processed like alternative kind of backing vocals that are just it, it really supports the song's emotion you know what i mean and i think it's a great like creative thing to do when it comes to mixing um like like i feel like like so many people are just afraid to have fun right because like at first everything sounds like shit no matter what you do but i feel like if you find that sweet spot where you're like okay this bangs you can kind of like really come into your own style and um i feel like this is you know what we're seeing here when it comes to dry my eyes vocals for sure um so with that said the vocal mix is great much like the instrumental mix nothing clashing too overbearing nothing like that really like stuck out to me that was off much like i said at the start um this is an artist that has like a really consistent mix so not a shocker but for those of you that are new here uh you always got to point that out right so very important um vocal shining star um I knew, I knew with the lyrics, like the way that they were written, I could kind of tell the flow was going to be really crazy. But I think the writing here kind of, kind of rules all. Like, like I feel like there's not only like really great storytelling, but there's a lot of like fun punchlines here that are just like easy to pick out, and you're like, oh wow, okay. But much like the instrumental, there's a story to be told. So for me, it's got to be the writing, definitely the writing for sure. Um. But flow and cadence and delivery, definitely a close second. Um, but the writing, definitely. So instrumental solid, uh, definitely a structure. A vocal solid, definitely the writing. Uh, let's talk theme. Aesthetics. Again, this might be one of my more favorite covers. Um, just because of how it turned out, right? Like sometimes, much like we were talking about um, not too long ago, we were, we were talking about just like deep frying covers and doing fun shit that like, it, it just looks cool to you, right? Um, it's one of those things as to where like this one in particular caught my eye because of the filter and, and how it's edited like like that Tommy Jeans logo stands out super fucking hard here and I think it makes the cover like really pop. So so it's sometimes it's like the small things that really like uh, make shit shine, you know, and this is one of those covers that doesn't even necessarily need to have any relation to the track itself. It's just one of those IRL covers that does really well with uh, feeling a little bit personal right so um i like the choice a lot um overall theme so uh kind of an interesting theme here you know with the title the cure you didn't really know what to expect right but i feel like throughout this track drama eyes is really talking about one thing right and, and it was really the cure of like getting to where you want to be in life wherever that may be, right? Whether that be, you know, having your own, you know, uh, house, family, you know, you want to get... This this line right here kind of made it for me. This one. I want to sail in a set in a pot full of gold. And and the prophets to show I've prevailed and grown. Like, like, lyrics like that, to me as a listener, right? Kind of... Kind of really say it all without needing a whole lot of words like like it's really important to kind of like take this line for what it is because it really is the cure to life right like everybody wants to grow and everybody wants to progress and be successful but it's just like this is a song about how like nothing is going to stop dry my eyes from getting there you know even despite darker times or going through more dark shit or um whatever you know what i mean like because we're all guaranteed dark days right but we're all guaranteed more good days so it's about the ups and downs and and this is a very like honest way of going about it because i feel like they're not like avoiding the kind of bad sides about you know trying to get where you want to be and trying to accomplish your goals and your dreams and a lot of important shit like that and um 
titling this The Cure is like so subliminal because I feel like if you weren't going through it, you wouldn't like fully get it, right? Like you wouldn't fully get it like trying to get goals done and trying to like get where you want to be in life, whether it be in your career or wherever. And um, it's a very interesting path to take. I feel like, you know, songs like these like are, are so one of a kind because it's it's coming from the inside, you know what I mean? So y y you like have your own like self inspiration. So it's really cool. Um but it's also mixed in with like a lot of like actual flows and bars and punchlines that are like, okay, like this is like actually a track, but it's also diving into that like personal story. Like you're 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 explaining something to the listener here that's important from you so again this is this is one of those that that I, that I could like talk about all day i could talk about tracks like this a lot but uh these ones are important because they're they're from the soul right it's it's from the heart so very important man very important uh with that said huge shout out to dry Eyes. thank you so much for this submission my friend much much love make sure you go follow them on soundcloud they're one follower away from 80 god damn it go follow them and of course make sure you go follow them on twitter as well uh they are quite literally approaching 50 they're one away on each platform we need to go get them to 50 and 80 let's fucking get it baby and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube re-upload and of course make sure you subscribe to the music mondays youtube channel if you haven't already uh we're approaching 280 subscribers actually we're one away so make sure you go show the channel and these artists some love and of course make sure um again you subscribe man because two uploads per week every thursday every saturday we'll podcast episodes segments a lot of that uh good jazz available right now so go show the channel these are some love let's get it what a way to kick off the show man that was crazy that was absolutely crazy okay um our second and last patron of the night and certainly not least the homie jordan uh a very very talented vocalist producer multi-talented artist has had a solid 2024 as well, man. I, I I feel like a lot of the community has had like such a great year so far. I mean, especially approaching six months in. This is another artist that's just that's just been fantastic, literally. So, um, with that said, they submitted a track titled Won't Find Me. So from the Born demos as well. Um this will be very interesting because we had actually reacted to one of these tracks last week as well. So exciting. Very, very exciting. Okay, so let's dive in again. I'm down. Let's get into it. Jordan won't find me. What an instrumental this is.
Wow. This was... This was one that was like... Like... Uh, this one was very... Ethereal, right? Very like... Puts you in a trance kind of thing. But the instrumental is so like... It is so well produced for, for like this alternative kind of like um, cloud-like style, right? Like this instrumental and this track in general, right? Kind of reminds me of, of um, like spooky black Orban-esque cloud rap. Like, like it's really like pushing that kind of like super ethereal, somewhat dark, but not like super dark, right? It, it, it's just mixing all these kinds of flavors and... Like you really couldn't pin one style to it. It's 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 really coming together to be like one, for sure. But that instrumental man, that'll definitely like raise your ears for sure, for sure. So, uh, let's talk about it. So we're gonna talk about three things. Uh, we're gonna talk about the instrumental. We're talking about vocals, and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of this track. So, um. instrumental mix so this is quite the mix of like synth like s you know live instrument based drums like there's a lot going on here when it comes to different flavors but they all kind of work you know what i mean like nothing sounds off or anything like that i wouldn't say anything's clashing or kind of mixing with each other i think everything kind of fits really nicely if, if i'm being really honest um that's what kind of gave it that cloud feeling. Like, like it, it, it had a very, like, cloud rappy kind of feel to it. Um, but I feel like it was the sound selection that, that really, like, elevated that, for sure. But as far as the mix goes, um, fantastic, to be honest with you. Nice and level. Doesn't clash too overbearing. I think vocals sit really well. Um, but drums in particular were great. That was kind of, like, something that I was, like, noticing. And then... How everything kind of like had its own space was great, you know, because once the structure kind of laid itself out, you kind of saw like how everything had its own space. So, instrumental makes fantastic. Um, instrumental shining star. Mm, you know, I like the drums a lot. I like the drums a lot, but again, the structure is one here where it really got me. Like, the structure really, really got me, for sure. Um, but the melodies, too. Like, like the melodies contributed to that that kind of, like, uh, like cloud rap kind of feel, right? Like, like I feel like that's, that's one of those, like, really, really important ones. So, mm, probably the structure... I'll be the structure, just because, again, it felt like a journey and, and a story. But the way that everything kind of had its own space and really shined here, I thought was fantastic. I thought that was, like, really, like, like a cut above the edge, you know? Really, really. So for me, structure, but um, drums and melodies are definitely a close second, for sure. Absolutely. Um, so, instrumental solid. Um, Let's talk vocals. Um, vocal mix. Um, wow, wow, wow. So, um, it's really got like the perfect amount of processing that I think this track kind of needed, right? Because it's it definitely on the on the more like emotional. Well, not like emotional. I feel like emotional is kind of like a bland word for it. It's it's definitely a very like personal track, right? It's it's definitely a little bit more personal. And it, and it needed a little bit more of different processing to kind of really, really like hit the mark and bring the emotion out of um, your voice, right? So I feel like this was like, it, it needed a little bit more processing and really needed to like fit the bill. Um, I feel like everything done with this mix kind of was very beneficial. I don't think it was doing too much or I don't think it was like um, off at all. I think it, I, I, I think it really hit the mark with what this sound is and like what jordan was going for for sure so i like this vocal mix a lot um again nothing clashing too overbearing like i said vocals sit nice um drums absolutely cut through nicely nothing too crazy that i think um you know i have any gripes with personally um so vocal mix definitely solid right where it needs to be um 
Hmm. Vocal Shining Star. So, there's a couple, there's a couple ways that we could really think about this, right? Because I feel like the obvious answer is flow and cadence and delivery. Just because, again, it's, it's pushing that alternative mark. The delivery of these lines is like from the heart. You know what I mean? Like, like it sounds honest. Like it doesn't sound forced. Um, so flow and cadence and delivery comes to mind first, but kind of writing in general, even though it is like simple, it's very, again, poetic and like, you don't need a lot of lines sometimes to make an impact. Like you really don't. And this is one of those tracks that lets like the smaller, the smaller sentiments really shine. Um, but for me, I think where it impacted me as a listener was the flow and cadence and delivery of it actually sounding honest. That was what was important to me, for sure. So the way that this was recorded and delivered and how it flows was, was really nice, for sure. So, instrumental solid. Um, definitely a structure. Vocal solid, flow and cadence and delivery. Um, let's talk theme. So uh, this was a cover we had spoke a little bit about last week, um, and Jordan did mention that this was a uh, image kind of deep fried from uh, the Born series, which I thought was a fantastic, right? Because if you're gonna go with themes like that, I always think these types of covers are really cool, right? You kind of just like deep fried a little bit, spruce it up, kind of make it your own, and um, these ones are always cool, always always cool. And again, project worthy in my opinion, definitely project worthy. That's what I like about this one. Um, it screams project. I mean, it, it'd be cool for a single too, but definitely has has like a little four track EP uh, kind of vibe written all over it, right? Um, so aesthetics, absolutely on point. Um, overall theme, won't find me. So realistically, I think this is one where again, the less the less is more kind of factor is is so prevalent. Like like again, you don't need a lot of like, if you're trying to tell a story, right, that's fine. Or, you you know, you have a certain way that you want to structure a track, that's fine. But sometimes the simpler route can really shine when it comes to the more, like, impactful uh, personal tracks. So this is one where I definitely think that um, it hit that, like, sweet spot of, of, like, you would totally remember this off of a project. And it'd be one of the ones that would shine just because it's so like it's 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 like hitting hitting the middle kind of mark it's it's a very interesting track when it comes down to a whole project you know cuz you put the whole project in your mind and you're like damn like where would this go what would this sound like you know prior and before a song and then there's just like cuz cuz it it would do just as well as maybe like an interlude right but like you kind of want to give it that own space like it deserves its own like it deserves to be a track. So that's one of those things where um it's it's so fun putting together projects like this because you you have these like emotionally driven tracks and and sometimes placing them in certain spots or or having them um in a certain area is 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 always like it's it's it just makes me like enjoy the process so much. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just one of those things where I feel like, uh, you know, these these kind of tracks are are everything to a project. Because I think back on listening to like full legs or EPs, and and like you have all these like harder tracks or even more emotional tracks, and then there's always just one that kind of like nails you. This would be the one that would kind of nail me for sure, especially like being memorable. Um, not that it's like super crazy or or like it needs to be, but I feel like it's one of those that it it, it would shine on a project. It would shine on a project because it's 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 like the moment of peace, but it's also like a moment of honesty. So it's it's kind of like riding that line for me. Um, and as we know, Jordan's always been really good at kind of like being honest, but also structuring out proper tracks in a way to like properly tell their story. Um, but this is one where I feel like a, a, a little bit of emotion was released, and you were able to like um, fill that void for a little while as an artist to to. Uh, get out some some real emotion, right? So definitely one of those tracks that that hits the mark, for sure. Uh, but with that said, a huge shout out to Jordan. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. 
Much, much love. Make sure you go follow Jordan on SoundCloud. There are two followers away from 80, man. Only two. Go show him some motherfucking love. Shit. And, of course, make sure you follow Jordan on Twitter. Uh, they are six followers away from 440. Go show him some love there on the Bird app, my friends. And, of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And, of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Money's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz over there on the channel. Make sure you go show these artists and channel some love, man. And of course, if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. Let's fucking get it. So, um, all right. That uh, concludes all of our patrons for the night. A uh, huge shout out to all of our patrons that submitted. Uh, Jordan and Drama Eyes. And huge shout out to the rest of the Patreon crew. Uh, Ryuki, King Mark, Kruker, Blank Dot, you guys are amazing. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, make sure you go check out the Music Money's Patreon and uh, go show those guys some love. But uh, time to hop into the rest of our community submissions. We're just going to go down the line per usual. Let's get into it. So uh, first, up next, we got the homie, Johnny Smoke. Uh, Johnny is a uh, consistently submitting artist here on the show. We've definitely reacted to a few of their tracks. Um, a, a very, very unique vocalist uh, submitted the track titled Full of the Help. Listen to Full of the Help by Johnny Smoke. Got you, Johnny Smoke. Let's get into it. I am down. All right, so we got a little private track here. Got a little private track from the homie Johnny Smoke. Okay, okay, okay. Full of the Help. I'm down. All right, let's get into it. Uh, exclusive Music Money's premiere. Johnny Smoke, full the help. Let's go. some magic and I want you to have it how I had it, whoa, only hit her with a wink and it was over for the kid, listen it's a world too cruel to go and live on the downside of the truth, whoa, winning a hard fought game, well, was good. and we're taking off just a little bit of praise, ooh, never jumped through a hoop to get down to, to get down to the roots, whoa, down to the issue, I exaggerate, Really, it's a whole different world, oh no, oh, whoa, got me days off the head, got me hating me for the wish I made, yeah, whoa, wasn't too careful with that one, what happened, I'll know better next time, I'll bet you thought they had me, but as soon as they think they do, I'm gone, I'm gone, oh, yeah, the world I live in ain't too tough to change, at least that's what I say, Wish y'all wouldn't just look the other way Every time I drop something Every time I show you catch you up Whoa And I'll lose my disdain Well, they'll go and prove I should just kept going my own way Yeah, funny for myself Funny for the hell Might take the world champion belt Ah, la 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 Ooh, la 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 You might Oh, you might Well, that will be tight Do right by the name can't believe my eyes, I'm amazed, whoa, yeah, with glazed eyes and epiphany on my mind, oh, whoa, I'm checking the time, you better cut on a dime, don't miss a sign, trying to recreate the moment it all changed, oh, whoa, fine, I'll set down the ball, I ain't gonna be the one to take her off the pole, I'm gonna hit the road, before I burn down this home, oh, Saying, let me navigate my way out of this one With no intentions, I'm gonna take it all head on Yeah, let's go slow and steady I return from the dead, then go and give them hell Whoa, like it's a last effort of me I set out to sway you to the perks of the free world ooh -wee. well it shouldn't take much more than family Doing it up like I was born in 96 Ain't that just dandy? Like who's a mofo that planned it? Really, it ain't me. It wasn't me. And if we get to do it all again, oh, who are we? I'm sure just yesterday another legend was born. Because it's every day that the world keeps turning. I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty. But certainly do keep me out of a fist fight. And catch up when you can. Because it's all alright. Yeah, like 70s high. At the end of the day, I just saw, oh, whoa. 
So, a uh, couple things to talk about here. I think you guys know what I'm about to get into. So, um, a very interesting unreleased track here by Johnny Smoke. Um, again, I think the instrumental choices here are always fantastic. Um, super, super, like, unique, right? But they also kind of, like, have, like, a really solid vision, right? Like, that's one thing I've always said about Johnny is they always have a solid, like, vision i just think a, a, a couple of parts of the execution are always um very interesting but uh let's get into it let's break this down let's talk about it so uh we're gonna talk about three things here we're gonna talk about the instrumental we're gonna talk about vocals and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of full of help full of the help so uh very interesting theme here though by the way as well um but let's talk instrumental so like i said instrumental mix is always like really really solid and even instrumental choice in general but as far as the mix goes always super super solid um nothing clashes overbearing melodies are solid always super level nothing like over the top right i i think everything is really right where it needs to be when it comes down to um the, the instrumental mix definitely 100 percent, no question um vocals sit nice as well drums are solid and definitely no gripes you know definitely no gripes at all um but uh let's talk um instrumental shining star so a lot of the melodies when it comes to a johnny smoke track um are very alternative based right like somewhat like classic rock but also brings in like a lot of the um modern hip-hop elements right so again like the flavor of instrumental is always very interesting like always very very um but as far as the Shining Star goes, <clears throat> I kind of want to say drums, but the melody is, is like, it's, it's just a part that you're absolutely going to remember. No question you're going to remember. Um, mm, it, it's it's, it's kind of funny, because I am kind of torn between the two. Drums are solid, but melody again is is the part that you're gonna remember right it's it's definitely gonna be rememberable for sure um mm, i'm probably gonna go with melody to be honest with you just because you'd know this song like right off rip especially like um somebody plays like three seconds of it you're you're absolutely gonna know this song like right off rip um so yeah for me melody but i feel like drums are definitely a close second uh for sure um so instrumental solid let's talk vocals uh, vocal mix. Again, as I said, the vocal mix is the only thing that's really throwing Johnny Smoke tracks off, right? I think they have flowing cadence down. I think they have writing down. I think they even have delivery down. I would just say the autotune and, and whatever they're mixing their vocals with is totally, like, throwing it <clears throat> in a weird, like, direction, uh, style-wise, for sure. I mean, realistically, like, mixing, again, is one of those things where it's, like, personal preference, right? But it would definitely sound a lot better with a somewhat cleaner mix right because everything else is kind of like hitting the mark when it comes down to vocals right flow and cadence delivery writing um pretty much the whole process right i i, I would just say the mix is really is really the thing that's like throwing this off for sure um but vocals are level nothing clashing to overbearing drums cut through nicely i wouldn't say there's anything that that like <clears throat> ultimately sticks out to me that's like super off other than the mix itself right um, whatever the autotune is, whatever the program is, it, it, like, I'm not in front of the DAW or the project file to really tell, <clears throat> but it could be any number of, of things or effects or rightly or anything. So, with that said, um, vocal makes definitely solid. Absolutely. Um, vocal Shining Star. Mm. You know, I like writing here, right? I definitely feel like writing's up there, but if I'm being completely honest with you, um, Flow and cadence and delivery is really top tier here. Like, like really top tier, especially for like a uh, unreleased track, right? So definitely something that's that's uh, a little bit more new. But for me, um, flow and cadence and delivery uh, absolutely hit the mark for sure. Um, not even a question. Not even a question. Um, so instrumental solid. Um, definitely the melody. Vocal solid. Definitely the flow and cadence and delivery. Uh, let's talk theme. So, oh, uh, Aesthetic's obviously an unreleased exclusive track, so again, I assume that Johnny uh, will either A, change the cover, or just keep this the cover. But uh, this is the one that uh, we've seen time and time again, for sure. Um, so, nothing really new there to kind of dissect, but um, could always change in the future, right? Especially with, like, an unreleased track. 
Um, definitely. But, um, pull the help overall theme. This is a very interesting one, right? I, 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 I feel like, uh, I feel like full to help is, is one of those things where um, you could take it a couple of different ways, right? Like you could look at it as like from an outsider perspective of Johnny or like from Johnny's perspective or even your own personal perspective, right? Um, mixed with a lot of interesting writing, mixed with a lot of interesting flows and cadences, but it, it, it all really comes together as far as like um, like somewhat of like getting feelings out mixed with... Um, kind of lyrical spice as well right because there's a lot of like interesting punchlines here but it's also kind of telling its own story when it comes down to um almost like being by yourself almost uh, like it it, it kind of gives like this lone ranger kind of feeling um but a lot of johnny smoke tracks are, are very much like that as well so um this is one where you know you, you could pick out a lot of uh bars and punchlines but definitely one that you would dissect over time and um you know, I feel like this is one where if you ran it back a couple times, you'd notice like one or two more new things, right? So, um, very interesting, very interesting. So with that said, a uh, huge shout out to Johnny Smoke. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you follow Johnny on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 1.4K on the Berg app. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube free upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 280 subscribers. Um, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a whole lot of good jazz is available. And of course, um, make sure you subscribe, man. Show some love to these artists. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. Let's fucking get it. So, uh, that was the homie Johnny Smoke. Continuing on, we have Survival in Negativity. Um, uh, now, Survival has been an artist who's been a consistent face on the Music Mondays podcast, but also a consistent artist in general, right? We've reacted to songs from them uh, quite literally as old as 2012, 2006 era, to 2024 uh, collabs that have dropped quite literally like a week ago. Um, there's like a whole lot of like really insane stuff that we've reacted to from Survival. Um, if there's one thing that you can take from Survival, it's that they are absolutely a hard work artist for sure. Um, so with that send, they submitted a track titled EB Games, Rally for Reality, a collab between Chaos and Sin. Nostalgic Exploration of Sin's Love of Video Games, ordered over Candyland by Soul Position. From our second compilation, The Vault Mixtape Part 2. Okay, okay, okay. So let's pop this over a new tab. Let's see what we got here from Nomi Sin. Reality for Reality EB Games music video. Oh, man. Is this really about to have some EB Games footage in it? All right, well, let's get into it. Uh, Rally for Reality EB Games. Classic. Absolutely classic. First game I ever had for my school was Final Fantasy VII. Just because of Cloud Sword, electronic stimulation. Who needs the outdoors? I got two controllers. Meet me at the school around four. Granted, turn-based RPGs on for me, but I ain't missing nothing past that Grand Theft Auto Three. Part of me got to walk past me a second. If I got far, ain't nobody trying to see me in second. Kind of rusty recently, but still it kill you with some practice. As of late, been learning the origins of the creative assassins. Never mastered the touchdown passes. The mad and catch me crashing and need the speed with a passion. Mass Effect, Motorstorm, Mario Kart. Can't win a race to save my life, but Chris is a cheater. Yep. It took me like <laughs> times to beat him, but anyway, I'm picking Modern Warfare over Black Ops any day. Oh shit, what? Siphon filter, perfect dog, burnout, and hydro thunder. Split screen competition, but it's all in good fun. Good times, no matter how many. The closing at the end is crazy. Okay, so this was fantastic. I, I I think this was like short and sweet to the point, but also very nostalgic. Very, very nostalgic. Um all right. So let's talk about it. We're gonna talk about three things here. We're gonna talk about the instrumental, we're gonna talk about uh vocals, and we're gonna talk about the music video for E B games. So, um Let's talk instrumental <clears throat> because this is quite the nostalgic track, right? And it really brings that like lo-fi, boom-bap-esque uh, kind of flavor 
like for sure um and i think hold on what do they say in their uh original caption here they said it recorded over Candyland by soul position so again kind of a crazy track to use man kind of a crazy track to use um but really well executed though um so with that said the mix is great um nothing clashy to overbearing nothing that really like um really sticks out or i have any gripes with to be honest with you um again it, it has that lo-fi boom bap s kind of flavor to it so it's not really meant to be like bump in or anything like that it, it definitely has like a good middle ground um and kind of hits the mark when it comes to uh a relatively chill sound right so very very important um so um instrumental mix definitely solid no question instrumental shining star um it, it really might be the melody i'm not gonna lie i mean drums are up there right i definitely think drums are up there but um hmm the melody is just, just, just so crazy like it is really really crazy mm. yeah it gotta be the melody to be honest with you gotta be the melody gotta be just because it, it's so nostalgic and soft and yet like again it's bringing that like boom bappy kind of style um so for me definitely the melody for sure definitely um all right so instrumental solid let's talk vocals um vocal mix now again this is an artist right <laughs> who we've heard tracks from literally like i said from 2006 all the way to 2024 like we've heard some really nostalgic kind of tracks to some real current tracks and again this is an artist with one of the most consistent mixes that we've ever heard um but again this is an artist with a solid natural voice so they don't need too much processing they just need a little bit of elbow grease a little bit of um cleaning up a little bit of um just you know a little bit of shine on the vocals and and then it's pretty much good to go right like you're pretty much off to the races at that point um and this track is definitely achieving that for sure um nothing clashing to overbearing nothing that really like sticks out to me ultimately that's like super off-putting at all when it comes down to the vocals um yeah definitely no gripes with this at all definitely not um hmm Yeah, so vocal mix right where it needs to be, which I mean, again, not really a shocker, right, to me, but for those of you that are new here, something you always want to point out, um, definitely a very consistent mix, for sure, um, right where it needs to be. So vocal mix solid, um, vocal shining star, I mean, you know, you really could go flow and cadence here, right, but if I'm being like really honest with you, um it's probably gonna be writing just because i feel like the writing here is is like one of those things where um you know you 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 kind of hit the mark perfectly when it comes down to um nostalgic bars and actually having like you know like meaning behind it right but also mixing in like your your regular punchlines and, and your regular like writing ability right so kind of like the theme tracks that we talk about here on the show sometimes where you can write a, a a track about a certain theme right and stay on pace and you kind of sprinkle in um other references and bars and punchlines it really comes together to be it's like own real unique thing right so um flow and cadence and delivery is a close second but for me it's got to be writing just because it was so on theme for sure um and just a lot of fun punchlines you know um and and like just nostalgic and like brings back like the 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 early teen you know late teen childhood days and shit so um a, a lot of a lot of like cool references here a lot for sure um so instrumental solid uh definitely the melody vocal solid definitely the writing let's talk about the eb games uh music video so i love the outsourcing of like all these nostalgic clips right like like you have these like nude brought or uh news 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 broadcast footage you have um just a lot of like like it's literally in 720p because the footage is so old you know what i mean like this is totally like 
one of the more like on point um visuals when it comes down to a track like this right like even just playing in the store right playing in walmart you have like all the old xbox shit and then like later in the visual where survival is talking about like specific games right he's talking about like mario and this one and that one like all the games are on screen as the bars kind of get said so it's one of those videos that like you could tell a lot of effort was put into it and they they really wanted to hit the mark with something like that, just because a old school kind of nostalgic um a vibe is super fun with shit like this like super super fun so um yeah so the modern warfare 2 lines right here yeah and and, and then kind of like skipping forward to like uh the mario lines and and you know even got like 007 gameplay so there's a lot of things here that was like super cool to watch and and again really like bumps up the 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 cushion and the quality of the track itself right i i think it's super important to do and uh this is one of those ones where i thought um it was really well done simple and right to the point right like you don't need to go super crazy with something like this i feel like i feel like visuals like this are super important and and really can like give a track a whole different type of personality um so i feel like they kind of nailed it with something like this and um did a really good job kind of capturing that nostalgia for sure um so well done my friend well done uh with that said huge shout out to sin and rally for reality make sure you go subscribe to their youtube uh they are about two subs away from 10 we're gonna go get them one more closer so they're about nine away so make sure you go show them some love on youtube and of course make sure you follow sin on twitter uh they are approaching uh 380 followers they're about nine away so go show them some love there in the bird app my friends and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of youtube free upload and of course um make sure you subscribe to the music mondays youtube channel if you haven't already uh we're approaching 280 subscribers uh we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday we'll podcast episodes a lot of good chat so we'll show these artists and the channel some motherfucking love man and uh thank you thank you thank you if you already have appreciate you here at mondays let's get it so um continuing on we left off with the homie sin uh up next is the outlier uh mr snow now this is a first time submitting artist so this will be very interesting um let's see here so um very interesting bio as well okay okay not not much to go off of so we'll see we'll, we'll see if it's good all right first time submitting artist mr snow in love with the gangster let's see what we got so all right all righty all righty all righty 249 first time submitting artist mr snow in love with the gangster let's get into it Okay. Uh, no, you don't wanna let me go. You don't wanna let me go. Try to get myself away from you. But this feeling is killing me, of course. Don't want this.
What a comfy vibe, man. What a comfy vibe that was. Fuck it, get it, baby. That was fantastic. Space mix. W first time submission. Absolute W first time submission. Um, wow. Okay. A couple things to discuss here, for sure. Uh, Slanted, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the streaming family. Hope you're well. Happy, happy motherfucking Monday. Let's get it, baby. Um, so yeah, a couple things to break down here. Let's get into it. Um, we're gonna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about the instrumental. Uh, we're gonna talk about vocals, and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of track. So, um, instrumental. Instrumental mix. Fantastic, to be honest with you. It has this nice, crisp, clean, clear kind of style to it. Like, it's definitely hitting all the right buttons, for sure. Especially for a more, like, dance, kind of, like, hype. You know, a little bit more, like, high-energy kind of vibe, right? So, um, I definitely feel like the mix supports that. Everything's super clear. Nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that really, like, throws me off at all, if I'm being honest with you. Um, vocals sit nice. Drums cut through nicely. Something super crazy that's like off putting, you know? Um, so the mix, solid uh, as far as the instrumental goes. Um, instrumental Shining Star. Um, hmm. You know, I feel like the melody is very rememberable here, but. You know, the drums are really supporting that like high energy, pop like, dance like kind of kind of movement here. You know, so I'm I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn, but I think I'm gonna go with the melody just because. Again, it's gonna be one of those that you kind of like. You can hear right off rip. You're like, like like as soon as like this gets played, you're gonna know instantly what song it is just off the melody alone. Um, very memorable and very like you know, sticks with you, for sure, um, so instrumental solid, absolutely, um, let's talk vocals, um, vocal mix, fantastic, um, definitely has, like, a more melodic, um, kind of vibe to it, right, so the mix definitely needed to be cleaned up, and, and definitely had to have a little bit more spice to it, for sure, but it's not, like, overdoing it, right, I don't think it's, it's too much or anything like that, I definitely think it's hitting that, like, dance pop mark, for sure, while kind of letting their natural voice, um, do most of the work, 100%, so that's, like, a really positive note about this, um, is the mix isn't trying to do too much, but it's really clean and really supporting the track, so vocal mix, absolutely on point, for sure, um, Vocal Shining Star. Mm. Mm. You know, I feel like the hook, you know, it, it's like super simple, but the flowing cadence of the hook is, is so rememberable, right? So I'm kind of torn between the flowing cadence and the hook. Um, the writing's up there too, right? I mean, simple writing, but it definitely tells a story of, of like... Um, of, 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 like, the vision that they're going for. Um, you know, probably the hook. Just because, again, you're going to remember it much like the melody. It's going to stick with you after the track. Just because it's catchy. Uh, has a good rhythm. But Flowing Cane's in delivery is a close second, for sure. But um, I would say the hook. I would definitely say the hook. So, instrumental solid. Uh, definitely the melody. Vocal solid. Definitely the hook. Let's talk theme. Aesthetics insanely simple cover but it screams like underground independent kind of like diy you know what i mean so i like this cover a lot definitely hits the mark when it comes to like um a single for sure like super simple um it it, it brings a smile to my face because like you know that these are the covers that like you eventually move on from you know what i mean and you just kind of go like simple and and, and it always works it always works. It's it's so funny to look back on, but these type of covers are always great for for um any kind of single, right? It's 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 simple. It's kind of like hitting the mark. It's doing its job, right? So uh, aesthetics on point. Um, overall theme. Um, relatively simple and I mean interesting theme, right? Um, you know it's literally in the hook. Shorty fell in love with a gangster. It's you know what I mean, and 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 I feel like uh. 
um mr snow kind of hit the mark but also made it like a fun dance kind of vibe right so you could totally see this as like a late night party club house party kind of vibe right or even just like solo by yourself right like it's, it's one of those jams that when it comes on you don't really skip it especially if you like it you know so totally hit the mark when it comes to like a feel-good party track for sure um well done so with that said a uh, huge shout out to mr snow make sure you go follow them on spotify and of course make sure you go follow them on twitter uh, they're approaching 310 followers. They're about nine away. So make sure you go show them some love on the bird app, my friends. Uh, and of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube we upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz is over there. So uh, make sure you go show these artists and the channel some love. Let's get it, baby. So, uh, we left off with the homie Mr. Snow, a very interesting first time submission. Uh, up next, we got the homie On Wuka. Now, On Wuka again has been a consistently submitting artist here on the Music Monday podcast, but a consistent artist in general, especially when it comes down to their lyric videos and their tracks. Like, damn, we've had a great 2024 with On Wuka here on the show. But this week, they submitted Shaman lyric video. More insomnia Wuka lore, Shaman about me bringing a listener in to heal from the. Mo- from the, from the monotony of life and boring rap. Okay, from the monotony of life and the... Okay, that's that, that's a very interesting way to put it. Cool fusion of Throat Age talent inspiring chopping from Kanyak, Nigerian ancestral roots from myself. Okay, so we're in for it. We are so in for it. Okay, I'm down. I'm absolutely down. All right. Um, so 720. Go check description. So this is from March. Not super old. Not super brand new. It's only about like two months old. Uh, a lyric video to further explain what it's like to be a shaman. I'm in Samuka's first EP. Portals. All right. Well, let's get into it. Anuka shaman lyric video. Let's go. The 
to bequeath to me the role of a sign man. Keep, keep the cooking fruit and slow like rhyme man. The streets go watch some for free, but I'm like an iron man. Take a drink from my coast and I guarantee a sign man. Wow. So the lyric videos, man, are just like so just top tier. Like the lyric videos are, are like they're such an essential part of these songs that are like super based around themes, right? Like like they're very like theme standard tracks and, and like the lyric videos just beef these up times ten. They really do, man. They really, really fucking do. Um Okay, so we're gonna talk about three things. We're going to talk about the instrumental, we're going to talk about vocals, and we're going to talk about the lyric video for Shaman. So, um, instrumental, Insomniac, Insomniuka. Now, this is a duo that we've definitely reacted to before in the past, but we also know goes really well together, right? Every time we've heard these two on a track, it's like their chemistry is unmatched, you know what I mean? Like, their chemistry is really on another level. So it's not really a shocker that this one here is kind of... Um, hitting that mark as well um so with that said the instrumental is crazy um i love the sample drums are nuts um even just like the structure of it all like is it, just really up there for me really really up there um well, let's talk mix uh fantastic nothing clashing too overbearing nothing that that really threw me off at all nothing that was like too overpowering vocals sat nice drums cut through nicely nothing that was really like insane right that that kind of like threw off the whole track at all um but again not really a shocker we reacted to enough insomniac tracks that's where we kind of know what we're gonna get those of you uh that are new here that's definitely not a shocker and uh definitely a very solid consistent mix definitely um hmm. instrumental shining star i mean drums are up there but i feel like if you don't pick the sample you're crazy just because again that's going to be one where, it, it, like, it's so recognizable, right? And the way it's chopped and the way it's kind of, like, it, it, it has this uh, has this sound to it that's, that's very unique. Very, very unique. So, for me, it's got to be the melody. For sure, it's got to be the melody. Definitely. I mean, drums are a close second, though, right? Drums are definitely keeping up the pace and uh, keeping up the rhythm, for sure. But, for me, definitely the melody and the sample. Absolutely. Um, So instrumental solid, let's talk vocals. Uh, vocal mix is fantastic. I mean, this is an artist that, again, we've heard enough of as to where we can kind of expect like a really solid vocal mix. Um, definitely an artist with a really solid natural voice, right? That doesn't need to be like super exercised or processed or anything like that. Definitely a natural voice that you'd want to shine um, with their, you know, particular style. So with that said, uh, the vocal mix is fantastic. Nothing clashing, too overbearing. Nothing that really like throws the track off. Again, minimal processing. Kind of just cleaned up the vocals, make sure they sound uh, nice and crispy. Drums cut through nice, like I said. Nothing that that really again throws off the track or anything like that. Uh, for sure, for sure. So a vocal mix solid. Um, vocal shining star. Um, you know, flow and cadence was interesting on this one. Flow and cadence was definitely interesting. I feel like Onwuka has been taking this like um not like offbeat route but but this very like you know pushing through the ceiling kind of route of like pushing their flows and really trying new things and really trying to like uh develop their craft right when it comes down to um their flow and cadence and delivery so flow is very interesting here but i feel like the writing was so detailed and so well done when it comes down to something like um these these theme specific tracks so for me, it's got to be the writing, for sure. Like, went above and beyond to make sure that this was on. Absolutely. Um, so the writing was fantastic. Definitely. Um, so, instrumental solid. Uh, definitely, definitely the melody. Vocal solid. Definitely the writing. Let's talk about the lyric video. So this will be like the third or fourth, maybe fifth lyric video that we've reacted to from on Wuka and uh, Insomniac Wuka that are just insane like like absolutely insane like these level up these tracks to a point where i i just think 
you couldn't explain the theme any more than you did here, right? I feel like the way that this was explained and the way that this kind of um, supports the track is is like second to none. You know what I mean? Like the effort is insane. Like even just on the lyrics themselves, right? Like the lyrics themselves always come on screen in such a flashy kind of like pay attention to me kind of way, which I like it, they just benefit this track to a whole different degree. You know what I mean? So it's super cool to see. But when it comes down to like the clips that were used, it definitely has that like spiritual shaman s kind of like piece that I think Wuka was really going for here. So I feel like the visuals really supported this a lot. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's a very spiritual, peaceful s kind of flavor. So that's what I really like about this one. Um, so this one is one of the more like detailed out of all the theme tracks, right? I, I, I feel like there's a lot of like specific bars and a lot of like symbol bars that a lot of people could, you know, recognize like e even there with the uh, Star Wars bar with Qui-Gon Jinn, right? Like I think, I think a lot of that is super cool to have in this, but at the end of the day, like when it comes to the lyric video, I'd say the shining star is um, the visuals that were chosen. Because I feel like the lyrics were fantastic, but one common theme for all these lyric videos is the visuals and the clips that were chosen are always on point. Like, they're always on point. They're always really well um, curated. They're always really well edited, and they're very simple. And it gets the, it gets the theme and the point across, right? And, I, like, e even the Dreamcatcher is a great addition, you know what I mean? Like, there's small things as to where it's really supporting this, like, spiritual kind of factor. And um, I think they did a really good job with this one really really good job and it's super high quality as well so like a lot of this just comes together like in full so um well done well done my friends uh with that said huge shout out to on huge shout out to on thank you guys so much for the submission much much love make sure you go sub to their channel they're about nine subs away from 60 go show them some love music mondays is already subscribed and of course make sure you go follow on wuka on twitter uh they are six followers away from 750 and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube the YouTube re-upload. Let's fucking get it, baby. So, um, let's see here. So, we're about halfway through the show, my friends. So, with that said, we're going to take a quick commercial break. I'm going to need all you guys to get up, go get a drink, go walk the dog, go for a smoke, go do whatever you need to do. And when we return, the Music Mondays podcast episode 175 will crank through the rest of the community submission. So, don't go anywhere. Be safe, and we'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Music Mondays Podcast, episode 175. I'm your host, Zom Slays. Let's get it, baby. I hope you're well. Hope you're chilling. Hope you had a good break. But we're going to continue with some uh, community submissions. Let's do it. So uh, we left off with the homie on Wuka. Up next, we have Kevin J. Beats, a.k.a. Liz Blake, the manager, uh, came through with a track titled Breakthrough. Um, Kevin J is a very, very talented producer, vocalist. We got here. Let's see what we got here. Ten days ago, super, super new. Real emotions from the heart. Break the beats. Written and performed by Resilient, featuring Kevin. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Some love in the comments. All right, well, let's get into it. Kevin J beats breakthrough. Let's go. Mix is already crazy. And I screamed into a void where my voice had no How I'm feeling right now A foot breath almost drowned And I screamed into a void where my voice had no sound How I'm feeling right now A foot breath almost drowned And I screamed into a void where my voice had no sound oh, How I'm right now fade out too like the outro was fantastic um what a track man that was filled with passion that was like wow you know kevin really nails this kind of like emotional-esque like high energy uh kind of feel it's it, it's really crazy it's really really crazy um well let's break it down let's talk about it uh, i want to talk about three things here i want to talk about the instrumental talk about vocals and we're talking about the overall theme of breakthrough so um instrumental let's talk mix uh fantastic i knew right off like the bat like three seconds in nice loud crisp clear clean uh super solid mix was about to be incoming for sure uh and it was i was correct um but not really a shocker um coming from kevin um anything that we've heard them on whether it's a feature or it's any type of collaboration um they've always had a really solid mix when it comes to their instrumentals and their vocals as well but <clears throat> Strictly speaking on their instrumentals, fantastic. Um, nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that really, like, stuck out to me that was, like, super, super off. Um, I think it definitely hit the mark, especially with the drums. 
definitely the drums absolutely hit the mark for sure. Um, so instrumental makes solid. Um, instrumental shining star. Um, you know, I like the melody a lot here, right? I like the melody a lot, but the drums are definitely doing it for me for sure, especially like the kicks and the eight oh eights. Um, absolutely nailing it. Absolutely nailing it. I mean, like the structure too. Like, I feel like you could really talk about structure here. I feel I feel like structure is definitely um could be an underrated section of this instrumental. But for me, I'm gonna go the drums. Definitely the drums. Just because they came in when they need to, they hit hard enough, right where they need to be. Um, definitely the drums. Definitely. Um, so no instrumental solid. Let's talk uh vocals. Uh, vocal mix for both of these artists are fucking fantastic. Um, right on the money for this kind of style for sure. Letting the natural voice kind of shine, right? It's a little bit more of like a melodic type track. Um, but again, nothing clashing, too overbearing. Vocals sit nice. Drums definitely cut through nicely. Um, nothing's like overbearing or, or like, you know, uh, kind of like taking over the track or anything like that. Nah. Um, the vocal mix is definitely right where it needs to be. Super level, even. Nothing that, that, that like ultimately throws me off. Um, but again, not really a shocker. That's something I always want to point out for anybody new. So instrumental mix or uh, vocal mix, fantastic, absolutely. Vocal shining star, um, man. So this was a lot to unpack for sure, especially for like, like one straight listen. Th this is definitely a powerful track, like through and through. So I feel like writing is definitely really up there. I mean, the hook is like the real obvious one. But I think writing throughout the whole track really made this powerful, you know, and, and a really meaningful song. Um, so for me, writing from both ends, uh, definitely. Definitely writing. But but the hook is like a close second. For um, so instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Vocal solid, definitely the writing. Uh, let's talk theme. Aesthetics. Um, a very interesting cover. I like the palette here. I like the red and the whites and the blacks with the shadows. Like, like color palettes are great. Switch it up and put the pronto advisory in the top right, text at the bottom. Perfect single cover, to be honest with you, especially with like the window breaking and, and like the whole breakthrough kind of vibe. Yeah, absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Um, no question. Um aesthetics on point. Overall theme. So there's a couple of themes that you could really break down here. But ultimately, um it's kind of a personal track, more so leaning towards breaking through that that like time in your life where you feel like you're just in the void all the time but you know you're always going through it things are not going your way it's just you're just in a dark kind of place but you're also thinking about that breakthrough right kind of thinking about breaking through getting better getting some goals done there's always that like breakthrough point right because you, you can have like 500 bad days but you also know that 500 good days are coming too right so it's one of those things as to where you 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 know in the back of your mind that um Good days are coming, right? So, so you're just waiting for that breakthrough, so to speak. Um, but it's a little bit more personal than that, right? So, I feel like they both did a good job, kind of uh, speaking their pieces on a topic, like for sure. Um, so, well done, well done. Huge shout out to uh, Kevin J Beats. Make sure you go follow them on SoundCloud. They're approaching 1.1k over there on the cloud. And of course, make sure you go follow Liz on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 80 followers. They are about eight away. So, or, or no, I'm sorry, they're about nine away. So, go show them some love there on Twitter. Of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, man. Uh, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a lot of good stuff is available on the channel. Make sure you go show these artists in the channel some motherfucking love. Let's get it, baby. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. Let's get it, baby. Um, so we left off with the homie Kevin J Beats. Up next is Offspring Mysterious, a very, very talented, multi-talented producer, um, artist, engineer, editor, writer, designer, all the above. Super, super talented. We've reacted to so many things from Offspring Mysterious over the last uh, year or so. But this week, they submitted a poem. Always find time to have fun. Have fun poem. Shit, I am down. I am absolutely down. So, um, 
let's see here. So wait, these are all um these are all like individual poems. Okay, okay, okay. So have fun poem. Okay, so they want to do have fun. All right. Wow, so they have a huge stack here. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about with Offspring, man. Like Offspring has this like wide backlog of content from their designs to their writing to their poetry to their edits to their uh instrumentals like they have a really solid library here so let's see what we got they have the have fun one this is the one that they wanted us to get through let's see what we got here i'm down everybody had a different definition of fun it could be with your hun baking a batch of buns or outside in the sun my definition of fun is different from others when you live your life under a rock the word joy is nothing but a four about a foreign letter word grinding hard a lot of wealth made me feel better made me felt better but the thing i forsaken was my health funny how i was mature for my i was only 12 my ways of fun were being stealth to the things that bring joy with that mindset it came with a price i closed my eyes one night not knowing it was my last day on earth i opened my beaming light bearing down on me it was that moment death Death was actually nice to me. Death was so nice that it let me live twice, but I was issued a warning. Don't be afraid. Twice. Thrice. I respond to this world again with a different mindset. I'm going to grind for something. Grind for the opportunity to strive for your health. Grind for something that will give you joy. Grind for something that your friends will always cherish. I will grind for something that will make you. Damn. Damn, that is a crazy ass fucking. Like, what? Hold on. So we have a little meaning down here as well um well, let's see here i feel like hard work pays off it's the most loaded word in the universe why would i say that let me ask you a question what does hard work mean to you what does it look like how do you know if someone is working up to say correct throughout my years of living i feel like as humans we always work hard but we don't know when to stop working hard. like we punish ourselves for not working hard enough hell i'm an example it may not look like it to you but i put a lot of fucking work behind the scenes you know what people don't tell you about working hard not only having a limit but the sacrifices you make what sacrifice do you ask? Health, physical, mental, and spiritual. Absolutely. Health is the number one thing we sacrifice. The reason why a doctor says stress is a silent killer. You may not feel like you're stressed out, but your body has a funny way of reminding you. It's okay to work hard, but don't. Work hard to a point where it costs you your life. Right. Some of my friends are paying the price for it, while others are playing catch up from work hard too much. Guys, we're humans, not AI. You don't have to work yourself to the bone. It's also okay to have fun. Activities like video games, sports, karaoke, concerts, open word, etc aren't there for entertainment it's also there to take our mind off the world it's okay to shut your brain down and let it wander off like you're watching your favorite anime hell it also helps you mentally if you keep thinking about hard work all the time you're possibly you're ironic how working too hard can make you over. the reason why we call our goals a journey journey to our destination takes time not everything's going to happen in one you have as much fun as you can when you take breaks think of them as a checkpoint to you. oh yeah don't forget to save unless you're <laughs> unless you like starting over again that was fantastic. Um, that was fantastic. That that that's spot on. I I don't think there's anything in here that I disagree with. Um, I think Offspring kind of nailed it. Um, when it comes to working hard, right? Um, it's real easy, like they said, to con like lose sight of your goal while working hard, right? It it it's supposed to be a journey. Um. But whether it's society or your own mental like jail you put yourself in, like people tend to just like work their ass off, right? Offspring even admittedly said that they're a part of that crew. I'm definitely part of that crew, right? Like I work my ass off. I'm grinding six days a week, twelve hours a day, meetings every day, managing uh three plus artists, three other brands, um, uh, several social media accounts, more than I can count on one hand. Um my own career, right? Streaming. Music Mondays, you know, so there's a lot of things that, you know, you take on when it comes to, you know, being busy and working hard and really, like, putting yourself on the line, right? And um, I feel like Offspring really hit the nail on the head where you can kind of lose sight of, of not your goal, but, but you lose sight of, like, certain aspects of certain things. Because, like they said, they, they, uh, they had a friend that kind of, you know, really went through that and really was, like, um you know burnt out or you know lost time or making up for lost time after working so hard you know so you don't really want to go down that route like like you want to work smarter not harder but you also want to work hard right i wouldn't say not harder i think not harder is kind of like a 
like just not a good thing because there's no way to avoid the work right especially in in like content creation and you know music and art and things like that like man you just can't um you just can't avoid the work so i think at the end of the day as long as you don't get too wrapped up in it and you remember to take care of yourself right obviously take days off kind of try to reel yourself back into reality every once in a while especially while you're grinding i think that's a very important thing to do um even i have to like remind myself constantly to do that definitely not an easy thing to do um it's one of those things that kind of happens like while you're grinding right and it's just like fuck like I, I didn't mean to i didn't mean to go that hard kind of thing and uh you're like holy shit I, I got myself lost in the sauce and um you can still achieve your goals without exhausting yourself i mean sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice regardless um offspring talks a lot about sacrifice there and i think making sacrifices is one of those things that comes with the job comes with what we're doing but you don't have to make all the sacrifices right and you don't have to like become reckless um there's a really fantastic message here it's a really really solid message here and um man if this is anything like the rest of these poems holy shit man we gotta go through more of these we definitely gotta go through more of these this is a great switch up offspring well done um shining star is the message well written short to the point sweet but the message overall is very important and i think if you can make an impact in you know so many words the message is almost infinitely stronger and the message is so strong here that it's just crazy crazy but well done my friend well done uh make sure you go check out offspring's library and of course make sure you go follow offspring on twitter uh, they're approaching nine or no they're approaching 890 followers they're about uh eight away so go show them some love there in the bird app my friend and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube re-upload and of course make sure you subscribe to the music monday's youtube channel if you haven't already uh we're approaching 280 subscribers we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday uh full podcast episode two segments all that good stuff so far Channel, man. So go show these artists and the channel some more fucking love. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. Let's get it, baby. So, um, that was crazy. I was, I, I was not, I was not expecting like a, a fucking, uh, 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 an insane message out of that. That was like, wow, <laughs> fucking well done. Um, super spot on, right? Like, like I, I don't, I don't have any gripes with that. I think Offspring really um, hit the nail on the head when it comes down to um, a proper message like that. Um, with that said, let's continue on. Uh, up next, we've got the homie Just Was, my song, my song Thinking About Me. All right, so Just Was is a very, very talented hip hop vocalist, has been absolutely destroying 2024 projects, videos. The last video we reacted to was absolutely fucking crazy. Um, so I'm definitely excited to get into this. Let's see what we got from Was. I'm down. All right. Full sound. Still 720 in here. Well, let's see. Description. Song available everywhere 524. So it's already out now. Definitely go get that shit. All right. Let's get into it. Just was thinking about me single. Go. Oh. With the video. Wax candles and I said. No things are hard, hurts me or broke One thing I keep telling myself is to set smaller goals The world's in a crazy spot and I think we all know Pulling rabbits out the hats, focusing on things in your control Single file, sequence of style, colors glow It's been a while in general, but this time I'ma let you know Therapy far as my pen goes, I'm non-competitive, no That I was busy accepting awards with the trove Minute I accepted me, I hate these rappers' flows Don't fit and stop pretending, be the best I've ever known Best I ever rapped is currently me talking to you Realizations, tipping points Points, spills know what to do I read intentions wrong couple times Got about the room From celebrations to muddy sides The spectrum of a youth I stayed in sweatpants for like two years That's the truth Every time I wanna listen to my own reflections few Damn. Can hear the message it was meant to send Before the project's through Finishing touches <laughs> Olivier Giroux Simply orange <laughs> Way I'm bringing the juice Flannel brown today November days are getting darker No thanks to you Really thought you wanted to my fucking spoon Passive turn around the days I'd always try the presence fighting for a breath it's not easy to count the seconds i figured if you said it then you meant it this is the reason why it's boiling over all these tensions i was thinking about me thinking about me i was thinking about me focusing on boundaries i was thinking
thinking about me, me, for the longest me. time, like, for longer than we'd ever think, I was doing shit for people and doing things that I never wanted to actually do. I just didn't want to disappoint people like that, feeling of disappointing someone. I had to think okay. about me. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh, wait. Hello, outro? Okay. Solid, man. Very, very solid. Um, what a comfortable track that was. But, like, like again, Waz makes, like, insane tracks to, like, really kick back and relax too or you really could just like get, get the fucking work and get some business done too you know what i mean so really a 50 50 kind of feeling but it was very comfortable man very very comfortable um with that said let's break this down let's talk about it um we're talking about three things here we're gonna talk about the instrumental we're gonna talk about vocals and we're gonna talk about the official music video for think about me so um let's talk um instrumentals so um instrumental mix fantastic um nothing clashing to overbearing other than that really like throws anything off i think sound selection is great drums are up there for sure um nothing that like really throws me off at all um a very simple to the point kind of boom bab lo-fi kind of style that's really like hitting the mark um and really checking all the boxes to be honest with you so the mix is definitely right on the money um again like i said nothing clashing nothing lit that's like too overbearing or taking up too much space or anything like that um so instrumental mix definitely solid um instrumental shining star um man probably the melody i feel like the melody is like really rememberable i don't know why like like it's it's got to be like some of the some of the, like the like something about the pattern is just like very rememberable for for some strange reason I, I i don't know why like like i can't i can't put my finger on it but it's very like it's repetitive it's rememberable it, it, it's something i took away from the instrumental drums are up there but definitely the melody for sure um so instrumental solid let's talk vocals uh vocal mix uh fantastic this is an artist again who has a really solid natural voice right so you really want to let that like natural side shine you only want to, you know, have a little bit of processing. Just clean up the vocals a little bit. Make sure they're shining. and make sure they're nice and crisp, um, nice and even, right? Maybe like minimal effects here or there, but for the most part, it's a very solid mix that lets the uh, natural voice shine. Which again, I think this is an artist who needs that, right? They they definitely want that, and that's the style that they're kind of going for. And um, I think the vocals definitely achieve that for sure. So, um. Vocal mix solid. Vocal shining star. Um, hmm. You know, I'm kind of torn between the flow and cadence and um, the, the overall writing. The writing in general is fantastic, but the flow and cadence is like, hmm. You know, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of torn because I, I, I do feel like the, the uh, flow and cadence is, is really up there. Really, really up there. Um, but the writing, though, like, like there's a lot of, like, fun punchlines. There's a lot of, like, small things here that, that really shine. Now it's like, uh, you know, probably flow and cadence and delivery just because it, it made the lyrics more interesting to dissect, right? So probably the flow and cadence and overall delivery. Was the shining star here um so instrumental solid uh definitely the melody vocal solid the flow and cadence and delivery let's talk about the official music video so this was giving like like somewhat of like a classic hip-hop video vibe right especially with like the in the face kind of camera shots like like i feel like that was a great, like touch you know to kind of get like the in your face kind of like hip-hop cypher s kind of like early late 90s like it gives that feeling to me, especially with, like, the filter and how it's edited. Like, this one's, like, really well done as far as, like, concept goes. 
And you didn't really need to go too crazy. You know what I mean? Like, this is literally, like, probably one room, a couple different angles, and an idea. You know? And I feel like was really, really executed. Especially with, like, the vinyls on the side and, and like, really kind of, like, bringing the, the, like, like, thinking about me solo kind of vibe, right? Because the song is a very much, like, I'm going to start thinking about me kind of vibe. Like, I'm going to do me. I'm going to start doing shit for me that I want to do. And I think the video really reflects that. You know what I mean? So Shining Star has got to be the concept. I feel like the concept of it all is really well thought out, especially, like, some of the angles, right? Because I think the angles are just, like, very... It, it reminds me so much of, like, classic, like, early hip-hop shit. But it's super modern and like all DIY, so it makes it so much better. Like, like it's so cool to see videos like this actually well done. Um, super solid, man. Super solid. With that said, huge shout out to Waz. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you go subscribe to their channel on YouTube. They are four subs away from 380. We're gonna go drop them a sub. Uh, so now they're three subs away from uh 380. Sorry, 380. And of course, make sure you follow Waz on Twitter. They're approaching 1.2k on the bird app, my friend. So go show them some love over there on Twitter, and of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz over there, man. So, we'll show these artists in the channel, so I'm motherfucking love. Let's get it, baby. Uh, and if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music. Monday. We see you dropping likes, we see you dropping comments all the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's fucking get it, baby. So, uh, continuing on. Um, we left off with the homie Waz. Up next is the homie I Say. Now, uh, they've submitting they've been submitting some fucking crazy bangers. Like like some real, real crazy bangers. Um, a lot of really interesting collabs. Um just a very unique vocalist. Like very, very unique. Uh, they submitted a track titled Sienna, and it came out in 2024, so very, very new. Let's see what we got here. Am down. Absolutely down. So, um, May 17th, so literally 10 days ago. Very new. Very, very new. Okay, let's get into it. Sean, I say Sienna. Let's go. back then yeah but guess what i'ma live in red right now yeah but uh, let me tell you one thing i'm gonna fuck you then i'm gonna pass you around okay and it's all <laughs> oh, like whoa oh, oh, oh. i wait i said that's my bro oh, oh, oh. yeah get this money and it's dope oh, oh, oh. and it's based on me on the low oh, oh, oh. yeah and no yeah gonna look up Ain't no one that I'm going look up, yeah. Why you always stay like a delay? Why you always so late like a delay? Get the gas. Yeah. Low is fatter than that girl Get it, that's on her ass. Don't call me a bitch, you gonna end up like a us. I'm in the UK, now I'm flying back to us. Anyways, bitch, I'm flying back to us. See why it on my dick like the wheels on the bus. Round and round like the wheels on the bus. Us, don't be acting sus, plus I tell you ashes, and then I throw you to dust, 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 dust with my bus, 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 with that ass, 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 ass. You're a whack, 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 you're my real, real, dirty with my whole. 
Interesting. Long outro as well. Um, this one is is kind of giving a very like unconventional kind of vibe. It, it definitely feels like a little bit like freestyle ish, right? Like almost like cooked up in like a couple hours kind of thing. Um, a very interesting direction though, nonetheless. Again, I feel like this duo is really cool because they always are willing to try new shit, right? Like, they're always willing to, like, try new flows or try new beats or try, like, any kind of new uh, creative direction, right? And that's one thing that you can kind of tell here is, is they were just trying something new and trying to, like, really push the bar um, for themselves as a duo, right? Because this will probably be, like, the third or fourth track from these two that we've reacted to. Um, we've definitely reacted to some, I say, uh, solo tracks, but as far as, like, these two are concerned um this one's very interesting very interesting so um let's talk about it let's break this one down um we're going to talk about three things uh we're going to talk about the instrumental we're talking about vocals and we're talking about the overall theme of sienna so um instrumental mix <clears throat> honestly solid um no gripes with this at all Nothing clashing with the vocals, nothing that's like tour bearing, sound selection's good, structure's good. Nothing that really threw me off at all. It's it's definitely giving that like dark trap, like very ethereal kind of slightly cloud like kind of vibe. Um so instrumental choice and overall mix solid, definitely. Um instrumental shining star. Um you know, it very well could be the drums. But the melody is definitely up there as far as, like, a very dark kind of feeling. Like, I feel like the melody is really, really up there. So, mm, you know, I feel like the melody just made such an impact and really set the mood, man. Like, like really, really set the mood. Um, so for me, definitely melody, but I feel like drums are a close second. Drums are definitely a close second. Um, so instrumental solid. Uh, let's talk um vocals uh vocal mix um fantastic to be honest with you like thinking back on it and comparing it to like older i say tracks and previous submissions nothing like super out of the ordinary here um super polished somewhat processed kind of hitting the mark for like this like alternative trap kind of sound um i think they both sound really solid though definitely no gripes this at all nothing like really clashing or just bearing or that's like really like uh like off-putting you know um definitely hits the mark for for the sound that they're trying to achieve for sure um so vocal mix solid um vocal shining star um hmm um Probably writing. I feel like some of the creative bars here and, and, and like some of like the honest like like subliminals, like like just flat out like subliminal disses were, were pretty fun and, and, and it kinda gives that like cipher freestyle kind of vibe, right? Um Yeah, probably writing. Writing for sure. Like like it gave that like lazy flow kinda like again, like cook it up in a day kind of feel, you know? So I feel like they hit the mark when it comes to that, uh, for sure. So definitely writing um instrumental solid definitely the melody vocal solid definitely the writing uh let's talk theme uh sienna aesthetics this is a crazy ass cover crazy 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 ass cover um definitely has that like um astronomy space deep space kind of feel but the portal is like the the main like the main stay here I feel like the portal really shines on this art um so whoever did this did a fucking fantastic job especially with like the the kind of like watercolor-esque um look of this 
Like, this is like great single art. <laughs> like like this is fantastic. Um, I'm definitely a fan of this one, 100. percent Especially like the color scheme too, right? Like I feel like this is one of those where, um, the more you look at it, the more you kind of see and like understand. You're like, oh shit, you know. So, um, big on this one. Aesthetics on point. Um, overall theme, Deanna. Um, I wouldn't say that there's like a standout theme, right? It's it's more so just somewhat of a cipher style freestyle s track, but there's also like quite a few like subliminals towards like a couple different people, right? And mainly kind of giving the point of like if you're if you weren't with me when I'm down, like why the fuck are you gonna be around when I'm up? Kind of thing, you know what I mean? So I feel like everybody can relate to that as well. Um, so when there was like you know some some shots thrown, I feel like that was the point. Um, so they really executed that well. And again, kind of like double down on the freestyle kind of cypher vibe. So, um, well done. Well done. Uh, so with that said, huge shout out to Sean and I say, make sure you go follow them on Spotify. And of course, make sure you go follow I say on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 940 followers. They're four away. So show them some love there on the bird app, my friend. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube free upload. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're changing 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes and segments. All that good jazz over there on the channel. So make sure you go show these artists in the channel some motherfucking love, baby. Let's get it. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here. Mondays, I see you guys dropping likes, dropping comments, all that good jazz. Um, thank you. Appreciate it. So, um, let's see here. Continuing on, uh, we left off with the homie I say. Up next is a groovy mind, a super talented alternative producer. Um, it's been like a couple weeks since we've heard from them, but uh, they submitted a track titled Copper, a song about getting locked up <laughs> with a smiley face. Okay, I'm down. Let's get into it. All right, a groovy mind, Copper, a song about getting locked up <laughs> with a smiley face. Love it. That's good. That is good. Talk about getting locked up. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I had a feeling it was gonna have that like chase kind of vibe. Like a runaway fugitive esque. Solid switch up. The alarm's a cool addition. Okay. Outer melody.
I knew it was gonna be the jam thing. Oh, damn. Okay, this was crazy. Um, it's been a while since I've seen a producer kind of execute this theme, uh, or any theme for that matter, uh, this well, right? Um, let's break it down. Let's talk about it. Uh, we're gonna talk about two things because obviously no vocals. Uh, we're gonna talk about the instrumental and we're gonna talk about the overall theme. Copper. So, um, let's talk instrumental. Um, instrumental mix. Solid, very solid, especially with the mix of like bass and drums and you know the melodies, the counter melodies, the structure. Fantastic. Um, absolutely hit the mark when it comes down to um, a mix, a very clean mix at that. Everything's nice and even, nothing really clashing with each other. Nothing that I think was like ultimately hurtful to the mix. I thought it was a very well um, executed mix, especially for the sounds and um, the, the kind of vision that a groove mind is going for here. Um, so mix absolutely fantastic. Um, instrumental shining star. Um, hmm. You know, probably structure. Just because this song is what it's clocking in at three sixteen. So I think that's a great length for an instrumental track. I think I think three minutes is perfect. Um, but I think the structure here really shined because it didn't get too repetitive. Uh, they let a lot of the other uh, instruments and parts of the song shine. There's a lot of good breakdowns. There's a lot of good calm moments. So I really feel like um, they did a really good job kind of structuring this out and not letting it get too repetitive. So for me, the structure, fantastic and really well thought out. And, and like you don't even need to do anything crazy, you know? Just let the drums ride for a little bit, let the melody ride for a little bit. Like when the siren came in or the counter melody came in, it was great. It was great. Um, so well done. Well done. Um, so, instrumental solid, definitely the structure. Um, let's talk theme. So, uh, aesthetics, copper. Um, I love the AGM in the background, right? Like, just one slight edit, right? You kind of have, like, one of these, like, um, copyright-free kind of images, right? And then, and then you have the AGM in the background, which, like, totally hits the fucking mark. <laughs> like, like, absolutely hits the fucking mark. Um, just a little, like, a personality to it, you know? A little, a little bit of pizzazz. So, I thought that was a nice touch. And of course, you got people in jail, right? For a song about people in jail, and the you know the the copper bars, and or even just like a copper, as in like a cop, you know what I mean? Like there's there's a whole lot of ways that you could take the title, but aesthetics on point. Overall theme, I think they did a really good job uh, capturing the vibe of like a fugitive runaway, kind of like in jail, kind of um, kind of feeling. I definitely think that they nailed it when it came to this. Like I thought. They really hit the mark, you know, like like that fast paced, like runaway fugitive can't catch me kind of thing going on. Um, so I thought the theme was great. And then like a lot of the little samples in there, right, of of the end with the jail door closing and you know, you're guilty and, and a lot of the smaller stuff was like such a nice touch. Um but I feel like the theme was very on point and I'd love to see more producers like flesh out themes like really put together tracks. Um that means something to them, right? And even if it's just like a simple theme. Um, I think this one was really well executed. So, uh, well done, my friend. Well done. Huge shout out to a groovy mind. Make sure you go follow them on SoundCloud. They are seven followers away from 60. And of course, make sure you go follow them on Twitter. Uh, they are one follower away from 1K. Literally one follower. Somebody go give the 1K right now, guys. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 280 subscribers. Uh, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, whole lot of good jazz. So go show these artists in the channel some motherfucking love, baby. Let's get it. And of course, if you already have, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Much, much love. Let's get it. So, all right. Uh, continuing on, uh, we left off with the homie Groovy Mind. Up next would be homie Dry My Eyes. But we've already reacted to their track earlier in the show because they are a Music Mondays patron and they have access to the Music Mondays Fast Pass. If you'd like to support Music Mondays and gain access to the Music Mondays Fast Pass to get your submissions played first every week here on the show, make sure you go check out our Patreon and go show all of our patrons some love. Let's get it. And of course, up next would be Mr. Snow, but we already reacted to their first submission show. Um, so, of course, one submission artist always. But uh, with that said, huge shout out to Mr. Snow. Make sure you go check out our reaction of their earlier track. Uh, and go show Mr. Snow some love. Let's get it. So, um, up next we have uh, the homie Insomniac, um, a very very talented producer. We reacted to Insomniwuka earlier in the show. Um, 
a very talented alternative unique uh, very versatile producer as well but uh they submitted a track titled seek the ether prod doc or no prod insomniac with doc here's a recent track for me in music by doc well shit let's get into it well, let's see what we got here a little spotify youtube pandora soundcloud okay okay we got the whole jazz we got the whole jazz i'm down all right doc x insomniac seek the ether one month ago so super super new um let's get into it insomniac seek the ether let's go Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm a newborn kid with the tricks. I got two horn scales down my back. I'm like Godzilla in a new form. You got a death wish? Is that what you mess with the best, bitch? Should have kept my crown where I left it. I got daggers, I got swords, I got knives. I praise the Lord, I save the poor and stop fights. I make more cash when I'm bored, so I scratch another gig off my list like an inch on my ass. Best bring your towel, cause I'm ready to beat ya. I got that, I got that fever. Breathe the fire, will I seek the ether? It's been my whole life, yeah, it's nice to meet ya. Best bring your towel, cause I'm ready to beat ya. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh. Honestly, I wasted breath is what I'm giving away. Uh. Chronically, but it feels like it's in my veins supersonically. Kids gonna be wearing my t-shirts hella ironically. I got that, I got that fever. Breathe the fire, will I seek Like hits, we glisten. Watch Conco miss. No safety blitz. blitz. We the summertime soul. Give you chills, make your toes warm. Wear like a unicorn. Are you listening? Fresh at the newborn. Down to a diva. Hate it to believe her. Never will deceive you. Got that fever. What an interesting track. That was very interesting. Very, very interesting. Like, it's it's one of those, like, uh, it has that, like, alternative hip-hop kind of feel, like, down to a T, right? It has so many elements that are, like, from different aspects of hip-hop that it's, like, it, it's such a cool mashup to be able to. It's, it's very interesting here. Not many people are kind of pushing this kind of sound. Um, but well done. Very interesting. Um, all right let's uh talk about it let's break it down um we're gonna talk about three things here we're gonna talk about the instrumental we're gonna talk about vocals and we're gonna talk about the overall theme seek the ether so um hmm instrumental mix um again it's a very versatile instrumental it's a very interesting instrumental that's not really a shocker because we're dealing with insomniac right like insomniac's always been a very versatile um producer so not really a shocker there at all you know um so instrumental mix solid um drums are good sound selection good nothing that really throws anything off in my opinion um melodies are great nothing clashing vocals sit nice drums cut through nicely nothing looking back on it that i think i had any like major gripes with um so instrumental makes definitely solid especially for what it is right um instrumental shining star mm. Mm. um 
you know, I feel like the melodies are really prominent here, but the drums are up there too. Because the drums are, are like a mix of like processed and like uh, live, you know, instrument drums. So so it's like, it's like a somewhat mix of a, like both of them. But the melodies are like really like, okay. You know what I mean? You're like, all right. Like it, it brings that unique spice that I think this track really, um, really benefits from. So me definitely the melodies, but drums are a close second for sure. Um, so instrumental solid. Um, let's talk vocals. Um, vocal mix is great. Uh, both of these two have like really, uh, like like super unique, uh, voices and and really kind of like, it, like they really let that shine, right? Like I feel like a lot of the processing it just like benefits them and and really kind of cleans up the vocals and lets their natural voice shine um especially doc and 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 the like rough kind of gritty like well cleaned up kind of sound is like crazy you know like a lot of a lot of um a lot of this track benefits from the whole grittiness of it all you know what i mean so i feel like um i feel like this is one where the vocal mix is very spot on very very spot on um, nothing clashing to overbearing. Drums cut through nicely. Vocals definitely sit nice. Nothing that really like, um, kind of like sticks out. That's like super crazy. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing ultimately that's that, that's like really hurting the mix at all. So, uh, vocal mix definitely solid. Um, vocal shining star. I mean, it's got to be the hook. Writing is definitely up there, right? Like, I definitely feel like writing's up there, but the hook is like super catchy and it's like gonna get stuck in your head, like, on the first listen for sure. So, for me, it's gotta be the hook. Um, but writing's a close second overall, but I would say the hook, definitely the hook. Um, so instrumental solid, um, <clears throat> definitely the uh melodies, um, vocal solid, definitely the hook. Uh, overall theme. So, uh, aesthetics. This is a crazy ass cover. Crazy, crazy ass cover because it's got a little bit of everything, right? Got a little bit of Doc right to your left. He has a little bit of Insomniac with their logo on the right. And then we have Seek the Ether in the middle with this very like tropical jungle um, s kind of feel to it, which I think they just absolutely nailed for a single cover. Absolutely fucking nailed for sure, especially for like something centered around like the ether and like breaking through and leveling up and, and like progressing through life. Uh, perfect single. Perfect, perfect single art for sure. Um, <clears throat> aesthetics on point. Uh, overall theme. I mean, realistically, you know, it's definitely in the hook, but it's also just about like leveling up, right? And and really just kind of breaking through. But also, um, there's a lot of lyricism in here, and there's a lot of like fun punchlines that you got to pick up on. Um, but for the most part, I would definitely use this as like a metaphor for like leveling up and breaking through and kind of like accomplishing new things in life, right? Um, or you could take it quite literally, you know what I mean? But it's one of those songs that's, like, lighthearted, but also, like, you could definitely dig a lot from. No question. So, uh, well done. Well done, my friends. Uh, with that said, a huge shout-out to Insomnia, a huge shout-out to Doc. Uh, make sure you go follow Insomnia on SoundCloud. They're, uh, eight followers away from 510. And, of course, make sure you follow Insomnia on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 2.5k on Twitter. And, of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a whole lot of good stuff is available over there on the channel. So uh, make sure you go show these artists and the channel some motherfucking love, baby. Let's get it. And uh, of course, if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays, my friends. Let's go. Much, much love. So... Um, up next, we got the homie Mavs, aka P Mavarez. Um, man, it's been a while since we heard from Mav. I, I, I feel like I heard from them like a month ago or maybe a couple weeks ago. They've definitely submitted to the show before. I, I definitely recognize their name 100%. Um, or they've made it onto SoundCloud Sunday. But either way, this, this, this has been a while. It's definitely been a while. So, uh, they submitted a track titled Dias de Playa. Okay. And got that in the bio. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got here. So we're going to treat this like a first-time submission since it has been um, quite some time. Quite some time. But uh, March 21st, 2024. So pretty new. Not not super old whatsoever. 
Um, but let's get into it. Maz, DS to play it. Let's go. Body is crazy. Aquellos días de playa, levantarme en la mañana, ver esa mirada y saber que eres tú mi traga y que no quiero más nada. De mi vida eres la llama, tú hiciste que este hombre por siempre te amara. De ti me enamoré y en pocos meses por siempre yo te amé y yeah. ya todo está escrito, el destino lo sabía, siempre sueño contigo, la reinita de mi vida, Tú siempre serás mi mejor momento, desde que te conocí yo vivo contento, nuestro hilo rojo es el que vence el tiempo y si existen otras vidas, en todas te sigo eligiendo, mm. todas te sigo eligiendo, aquellos días de playa. Levantarme en la mañana, ver esa mirada y saber que eres tú mi traga y que no quiero más nada. De mi vida eres la llama, tú hiciste que este hombre por siempre te amara. A tu lado me se parecen días y es hoy tu miel lo que yo tanto quería. Si tú fueras un libro antes de nacer ya te leía y es que eres lo más lindo que me dio la vida. Tu amor es mi destino. Que importa el resto, no es casualidad que tus besos sean perfectos. Y cuando lo hacemos, se pare el tiempo. Si el último en tu vida, yo te lo apuesto. Y es que desde aquel primer día en que te vi, el cielo lo sabía que tú eras para mí. Han pasado años y todas las noches pienso en ti. No me equivoqué, este amor no tiene fin. De match baby, primero ya rompimos. W, big fucking W. Mm -mm. Wow, man, I love. The non-English track sometimes, man. Like, especially as just, just like an English-only speaker. Um, I've always been a fan of, of non-English tracks, right? I think we've reacted to German tracks. We've reacted to Spanish tracks. We've reacted to Swedish tracks here on the show, right? So um, these are always super fun. Super, super fun. But this one is crazy. Crazy melodic. Um, okay. So let's break this down. Let's talk about this. Uh, we're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about the instrumental. We're talking about vocals and we're talking about the overall theme of DS to play. So, um, <clears throat> instrumental. Right off rip, I knew that this was crazy. Like, the melody was giving off this very peaceful, like, kind of fast paced RB esque, like, pop kind of vibe. Like, absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed the, the dance summer vibe for sure. Um, but the mix is great. Really, really great. Nothing like to gripe about whatsoever. Nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that's really fighting with each other. Sound selection's good. Vocals sit nice. Melody's great. No gripes with this. Definitely not. Um, so instrumental mix, definitely solid. Um, instrumental shining star. Hmm... You know, I like the drums a lot, but the melody is so, like, it's so just going to get, like, imprinted in your head, for sure. It's very catchy. It's very peaceful. It's very summer-like, right? I definitely feel like it's very, very summer-like. So, for me, um, definitely the melody, but I feel like the drums are a close second, for sure. Um, so, instrumental solid. Let's talk vocals. 
um vocal mix is fucking crazy especially for like this melodic of a track right like the vocals had to be on point mixing had to be on point everything had to be on point and it is it absolutely is um vocals sit nicely instrumental um drums cut through nicely super clear clean crisp loud but not doing too much not clashing with the instrumental it's nice yeah i mean realistically like nothing that again thinking back on it that like is really like that you know noticeable i feel like this hits every mark for sure especially for like a melodic track like this like i said um so vocal mix solid vocal shining star um obviously i can't say writing like too too detailed with like actually knowing um what the lyrics are about but again it it's probably the hook either way it's probably the hook either way just because again it's so catchy and it goes along with the melody so well like i feel like this was like one of those like star single tracks that you just like pump out one day in like an hour studio session you're like holy shit you know like like you can really sometimes these bangers just like come through and it's wild because you could spend like days and days and days on a track or you could spend like two hours on a track and get something like this and you're like fuck so uh for me just because it's so effortless and it works so well uh definitely the hook definitely the hook for sure um so instrumental solid uh definitely the melody vocal solid definitely the hook let's talk theme uh aesthetics Yes, to play a Mavs. What a peaceful vibe we have going on. What an insane icon we have over there. It's like so small. Like, 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 that's such a, like, a little Easter egg. Like, I feel like that's such a little Easter egg, man. Like, like, you really gotta, like, look at the details of this cover to really, like, even see that. This is a dope cover. And, and, like, I think above all else, it captures the energy of this track. I definitely feel like it captures, like, everything that this track is peaceful, summer, water, beach, you know just good vibes you know so i feel like this cover was like very much on point very very much on point um so aesthetics on point of course um of course with this being in in, in a non-english um version i can't break down the theme too too hard but just from uh the melodies and the cadences alone it, it has that like summer vibe that's like really on point like really really on point especially with the cover like i feel like everything wraps really well with this um, so you don't even need to uh, speak any language to enjoy a track like this, for sure. So, uh, with that said, a huge shout out to Mavs. Thank you so much for this, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you go follow Mavs on Spotify. And, of course, make sure you go follow Mavs on Twitter. They are six followers away from 520. Of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And, of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't. We're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week. Every Thursday, every Saturday, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, all of good jazz over there. Go show these artists in the channel some motherfucking love. Let's get it. If you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays, my friend. Much, much love. Fucking get it. So, um, that was a crazy submission. That was definitely crazy. Um, up next is the homie, Jay Streets. Now, this is a first time submitting artist, but we have featured them on SoundCloud Sunday before. But not on the Music Mondays podcast. So this is the first time they'll be uh, here on the show. And they submitted a track titled Adora. And this is Jay Streets. So we're going in blind. We're going to see what we got here from the homie. Pop it open a new tab. Let's see what we got. I am down. All right. So one year ago. Not not like super new, but not super, super old either. So um, I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's get into it. Jay Streets, Adora. Let's go. Don't 
a lot of like summer vibes tonight it's really crazy getting a lot of like just straight like summer like good vibes tonight um even though that one was actually like a bit older as well uh, but that was from their project titled when you see me and actually the first track of the project so interesting very very interesting. all right uh let's break it down let's talk about it let's get into it so um we're talking about three things we're talking about the instrumental we're talking about vocals and we're talking about the overall theme of the track um instrumental um instrumental mix honestly solid for where it is um not not too shabby whatsoever to be honest with you melodies are right where they're supposed to be drums are solid i like the sound selection patterns are decent nothing that really threw me off on this one either especially when it's like going for this kind of sound i think it it, it pretty much hit every box as far as the mix goes right uh, nothing that's really like too crazy on it um right where it needs to be definitely definitely so instrumental makes solid instrumental shining star um this one's kind of interesting right because it, it is a very is a very like not simple but but it has like um has has like this pattern to it that's that's very like it gets it, it gets in your head very quickly and the rhythm is like right there and you're just like okay like you kind of understand like where this is going and where this is this, this is coming from right so i feel like the shining star you know it could be the melody but i like the drums a lot i feel like i feel like the drums um they're they're slightly unique but they're kind of doing their job as far as like this this dance pop-esque melodic kind of sound here so i'm thinking drums but melody's up there for sure uh yeah i mean probably drums if i had to pick but i mean melody's like a close second just because of like the good vibes that it brings i feel like the melody's really up there too um but for me definitely drums for sure um so instrumental solid let's talk vocals uh vocal mix also solid um nothing clashing to overbearing i feel like drums actually sat really well with it um nothing that like really throws this off as far as the mix goes um nice and clear crisp clean not too much processing on this but it has enough as to where 
it's it, it's kind of bringing like the more melodic elements out of it so i feel like it's checking off all the boxes it's supposed to as far as vocal mix goes for sure um again no, there's nothing that, that that really like throws it off you know and i think that's most important realistically um so vocal mix solid um vocal shining star um i was gonna say hook but the more i think about it it's probably flow and cadence and delivery the flow and cadence and delivery was like solid throughout the whole track and again it's kind of giving that groovy like you know bob your head a little bit you're like okay like it's bringing like the loose summer vibe um so for me flow cadence and delivery all that good jazz um absolutely um so instrumental solid uh definitely the drums vocal solid definitely the flow and cadence of delivery um let's talk theme so uh aesthetics nuts like really nuts i love these irl pictures that are like of you when you're like you're super young especially for like a full length project this one definitely like takes the cake for me as far as like right out there you know what i mean so uh project worthy absolutely i love the aesthetics too like the white on green and the frame and yeah no it's, it's definitely hitting all the marks when it comes to like a project worthy kind of cover so um aesthetics on point absolutely for sure um overall theme so adura could be a metaphor for a couple things right or it could just be the phrase adura or it could be a name there's a couple things here where i feel like this could be taken in a few different ways right but it does have that like melodic storytelling kind of feel to it so it's one of those tracks that i feel like just screams summer vacation late night drive kind of like good party family vibes almost like slightly as well so there's a couple of like really good vibes here when it comes to a track like this but i do feel like this is again more of like a it'd be like more of a like a subliminal track to j streets but it's also like a very like open you know it is what it is kind of track you know so you either take it for what it is or or you really kind of start to dissect it and you're like using adora for like metaphors and things like that so there's a couple ways you could take it but um well done well done with that said huge shout out to j street thank you so much for the submission my friend much much love make sure you go follow them on soundcloud man there's seven followers away from 10 go show them some love there on the cloud and of course make sure you follow j street on twitter uh they're approaching 4.1k on the bird app my friends and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube the upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 280 subscribers. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz over there, man. So go show these artists in the channel some more fucking love. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays, baby. Let's get it. Um, dry my eyes. What's good, baby? Hey, bro. Hope you're cool. Sorry, I missed the stream. I work all day. So this for the album, by the way. I'll email tonight. That shit was fucking crazy. Wait till you see the reaction. Wait till you see the reaction. That was quite the fucking submission. That was quite the submission. Um, but yeah, no worries, bro. You're never obligated to show up. No worries. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Work and all that shit's way more important. I always appreciate it, even if you guys just watch the VODs. You know what I mean? Like, never feel obligated to come through, you know? No worries at all. Uh, I got you, definitely. Definitely. Um, but yeah, well done. Well done. Absolutely um i'm in hawaii time so it's like six hours behind yeah no right like H hawaii time is crazy yeah i have i have like one or two friends in hawaii and it's always like it's always mind-boggling it's always mind-boggling because it's, it's it's so crazy it's so funny <clears throat> but you're not wrong though you're not wrong um but up next last but not least we got the homie ozzy bug now this is an artist who has improved tenfold in 2024 man um from flows and cadences to your instrumental choices, the writing, the ideas, the everything, for sure. Uh, but they submitted a music video titled A Bug Do. Let's check it out. Let's see who we are. I am down for the cause. Boom. All right. So we'll hit a quick pause, volume up, go a little 720 because we're streaming. Talk to you later. I'm still at work. Another two hours. I got you, my friend. Enjoy your shift. Be safe. We'll talk soon. And uh, let me know if you need anything, baby. Appreciate you stopping by. Let's get it. Let's go. Uh, three days ago, so super super new. Um, about three hundred views. That's really great. Um, lots of love in the comments. Hmm. Yeah, lots of love in the comments. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, so 
Shot directed and edited by Lil Wet Wet, Shadow Patterns. Concept and styling by Isaac Bug. Free save, bug culture, subculture, right in the description as well. Okay, solid. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Ozzy Bug, Bug Goo, official music video. Let's go. Got, huh? Fuck it. Okay. Lots to talk about here. Um, I agree. I think one of these comments said it best. Um, I love the way you did the lyrics too. Yeah, no, the lyrics are a great addition. Um, where was it? Your best video yet. I definitely think it's up there. I, I definitely agree with that statement. Like, I definitely think it's up there. Um, probably like top five for sure. Um, cause there's a couple other like really, really solid ones, but this one here is one that I feel like is so spot on with the theme, right? Especially for like the whole bug goo kind of like a butterfly-esque, um, vision here. I feel like this one really like nailed. So that's one thing that I love about this one, but, um, we're gonna talk about three things. Uh, we're gonna talk about the instrumental. We're going to talk about vocals, um, and we're going to talk about the overall theme. Or no, I'm sorry. We're not going to talk about the theme. We're going to talk about the music video. So, uh, instrumental, vocals, music video. Instrumental. Um, I like the choice. Again, kind of like I said at the start, like, you know, they've kind of had a really, like, interesting journey with instrumentals, right? Like, we've reacted to a couple of their tracks on the show that are more, like, lo-fi kind of style. A lot of like fast paced alt pop, kind of like regular pop kind of styles. And this one's almost like teetering on like pop cloud esque kind of style, right? So I like the choice. Like like it's it's such a versatile choice here. Um, but fits the library, fits their sound. So I think that's something that's like very important. Um so instrumental mix, um solid, really solid. Nothing clashing too overbearing, nothing that I noticed that was like really out of place on this at all. Drums are solid, sound selection solid, vocals sit nice, drums cut through nicely. Nothing on this mix, as far as the instrumental goes, that threw me off. Melodies are great, like I said. Nothing that's, you know, I have any gripes with. Um, so instrumental mix, definitely solid. Um, instrumental shining star. You know, I was going to say drums at first, but I feel like the structure is pretty, like, you could, like, underrate the structure and kind of, like, really, like, you know, forget about it in, in, in place of the drums, but I feel like the structure on this instrumental is really solid. And in addition, I think Ozzy did a really good job kind of utilizing this instrumental structure to place their vocals properly and, and really find like a good flow on it. So for me, probably structure, to be honest. Um, but I do like the drums a lot as well, for sure. Melody is up there, but um, for me, definitely structure. Um, so 
instrumental solid. Um, let's talk vocals. Um, vocal mix. Now, this is again something we've seen improve over time, right? And this is one where you know, with a more recent track, you can just see their progress. And um, this mix is definitely right up there for me. Um, again, nothing clashing to overbearing. Has enough processing on it as to where they're like exploiting their melodic sides of their voice, but 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 they're not like fully, um, fully like you know diving into the to the processing and the effects so i feel like this is a nice little like hybrid kind of mix as to where it's still very much processed and has like plenty of effects on it but it's not letting the effects do the work um i think it's a nice balance right and again nothing clashing to overbearing like i said drums cut through nicely vocals sit nice nothing that really like throws this off at all especially with being like a little bit more of like a melodic track right uh, so vocal mix solid um Vocal Shining Star. Um, you know, I'm kind of torn between writing and flow and cadence. Because the flow and cadence is one of those flows that makes you pay more attention to the lyrics. And the lyrics are having a lot of fun, but they're also very serious, right? And they're having a lot of these, like, bug, bug culture, you know, kind of, like, interesting punchlines. And, and, and a lot of, like, small little interesting, like, just nods, you know, just just real like, okay, like they're very like in your face kind of bars, but they're also just like fun. So this is kind of like a very fine balance. Um I would say writing's up there. Um, but the flow and cadence of delivery for an instrumental like this was was really solid. Um You know, probably the writing though, I don't I I'm kinda torn. I'm kinda torn. I'm gonna I'm gonna say writing just because I feel like one the theme was solid, but I feel like a lot of the cool uh, punchlines and lyrics and and a lot of the smaller stuff kind of like made this song a little bit more like personal, which I thought was cool. Um, so writing definitely, but flow and cadence into it for sure, sure. Um, so instrumental solid, um, uh, definitely the structure, vocal solid, definitely the writing. Um, let's talk about the music video. So, um. Fantastic. I mean, like I said, this is one of those that like is really pushing that kind of boundary of of like um nailing down like a concept. So, um, concept and styling by Ozzy Bug, shot, directed, and edited by Lil Wet Wet. So, quite the duo here, right? And this is a duo we've seen time and time again for visuals and music videos and even collabs, right? But this one was all in with the bug esque butterfly theme, and I think. Just totally nailed it like a lot of the smaller shots nailed it but i think the big elephant in the room here is the costume and the shots like almost like the song like the song is talking about leaving and kind of like you know moving forward and leaving things in the past like there was a lot of like there was a few lines in there like that too so i feel like the video kind of supported this leaving getting up and going almost like butterfly-esque kind of movement as to where butterflies hatch and start flying away right and this is kind of like the analogy or, or the subliminal kind of message that we're getting here with this and i feel like it's really cool because it's like you have this fantasy costume that's like very like it's 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 literally a butterfly costume right but you're in you know the subway you're in the uh streets and you're getting these crazy shots that are like not out of place for the song but it's like out of place for the shot so it's like making it, it's really supporting the concept of just like breaking out of places that are like quote unquote no longer for you or just not good for you or you just don't want to be there anymore right so i feel like the video really supports that and a lot of the shots um and a lot of like the angles and a lot of the editing are like so good with this like a lot of the turns and you're seeing people and you're on the like the crosswalk it, it, there, there's a lot of small things here patterns is really genius with this music video shit um don't ever underestimate them I, I i really feel like they're like a uh one of the um smartest visionaries when it comes to being behind the camera and it shows here in this video and then the whole concept of ozzy kind of coming up with this butterfly free kind of concept i i feel like it worked really well um so this is one where the theme really shines and i would say the shining star is definitely the concept right the whole concept of it all i think it was really well executed and it was really really personal and really well done but also very original so it kind of hit all the boxes you know what i mean so uh well done well done uh with that said a huge shout out to ozzy bug make sure you go sub to their channel on youtube they are two subs away from 80 aw milestone 
Uh, and of course, make sure you go follow them on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 240 followers. They are two away. And uh, of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be links in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 200 and... Uh, 80 subscribers. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz over there on the channel. So make sure you go show these artists and the channel some motherfucking love, man. Uh, and of course, if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays, baby. Let's fucking get it. Um, so with that said, that concludes episode 175 of the Music Mondays podcast. Uh, that does it for submissions. You guys know the drill. Let's get a little closeout. Let's get some shout outs. Let's talk about what's coming on, on uh, Music Mondays over the course of next week or so. Let's have a little chit chat, man. Let's have a little chit chat. So, uh, with that said, a huge shout out to everybody that submitted, tuned in, came through, and showed love. Huge shout out to everybody in the chat tonight. Huge shout out to anybody that lurked and chilled. Huge shout out to Slanted. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream and family. Huge shout out to Dry My Eyes. Anybody else that lurked and chilled, man, you guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and again, huge shout out to everybody that submitted. Uh, huge, huge shout out to uh, Johnny. Huge shout out to Sin. Huge shout out to. Mr. Snow, Onwuka, uh, Liz, Offspring, uh, Just Was, I Say, A Groovy Mind, Dry My Eyes, Insomniac, Mavs, Jay, Ozzy, Jordan, uh, David, uh, every, everybody else that's submitted many years are fucking amazing. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, so, with that said, um, again, a huge shout out to you guys. Um, big week coming on Music Mondays. We have a lot to get through when it comes down to uh music monday's album stuff current cases of the monday submissions are live now so make sure you get your tracks in while you still can uh submissions close uh in about two weeks as soon as june hits so we got a lot going down there uh, as far as that goes and of course your weekly and monthly content will continue here at music mondays we have a whole lot of good stuff for you guys um and of course submissions open for next week's show tomorrow so if you're watching this live um submissions open on the 28th tomorrow for episode 176 if you're watching this on youtube or anywhere else submissions are already live so make sure you go get your tracks in and uh go check out the tweet and go submit your um um links my friends and of course uh soundcloud sunday submissions will be open this wednesday so make sure you stay tuned for uh volume 137 submissions to open and per usual my friend um uh, make sure you stream music mondays episodes on anchor.fm slash all music mondays uh you can stream all the music mondays podcast episodes pretty much everywhere on the go and of course make sure you follow music mondays on twitter instagram facebook tumblr youtube tiktok you guys know the drill man we're everywhere at all music mondays and of course make sure you follow me in the channel at zom slays uh follow subscribe below everything linked below socials all the good jazz linked down below um that does it for episode 176 of the Music Mondays podcast, or no, episode 175. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, episode 175 of the Music Podcast. Man. Um, with that said, stay tuned. Make sure you follow the channel. We're live every single day, like six days a week. Uh, watch party streams, uh, speed running, all that good jazz. Uh, you guys know the drill. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another stream, and we'll see you next week for episode 176 of the Music Mondays podcast. Stay tuned. Be safe. I love you guys. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow.